there will always come a point in your life where you will need to build capacity capacity it says if you turn aside in the day of battle there is only one explanation your strength many believers are wonderful people but our spiritual stamina is small anything just blows you and you are out of the way god you didn't do this and that's it but it says be steadfast immovable there is a level of balance stamina that was one of the blessings of the men of david among the men of david one of the blessings was that one could dig his feet on the ground in other words no matter what you do i will not move i can defeat you from one spot are we together now please sit down for a while good evening everybody Ephesians chapter 3 and verse 9. We'll still get back to our discussion. These are nights of encounters. Ephesians chapter 3. Let's start from verse 7. Paul is speaking. Whereof I was made a minister according to the gift of the grace of God given unto me by the effectual working of his power. Unto me who am less than the least of the saints was this grace given that I should preach among the Gentiles the unsearchable riches of Christ. Nine. And to make how many men? There is a grace given that when you come under the influence of that grace, you must see. I hope you understand the story. He's saying a grace was given to me and that by the privilege of God's power, the effectual working, he gave me a grace that when people come under the influence of that grace, he can make all men see. There is a grace that can take away blindness, regardless of your level of education. Listen carefully. Regardless of your level of exposure. You see, there are things in life that you have to be educated to understand. There are things in life you have to be wealthy to understand. There are things in life you have to be poor to, to understand. There are things in life you have to be ignorant to understand. But there is a grace that can make all men see. Regardless of your level, regardless of your background, whether you can speak English or not is not the issue. The grace has capacity to quicken your understanding. He says, and it shall make him of quick understanding. If the matters of the spirit were left to educated people, then those who didn't have the privilege of formal education will be out of God's program. If it were left only to the rich, then the poor will not have a chance. Are we together? If he was left only to the exposed and enlightened, then those that did not have that kind of privilege will not have anything. But thank God for his grace. That when he pours his spirit is upon all flesh. And that this grace can make all men see what is the fellowship. It's the word koinonia. Partnership. The sharing. Drinking from the same vessel of the mystery. So you can partake of a mystery, not just an anointing. You can partake of the grace that has made a man to see. And you will see the same thing. The Lord began to deal with us yesterday on hosting his power. We're still going to explore along power and impartation. God began to adjust our understanding to see and understand the dynamics of true spiritual power. Isaiah chapter 35. My assignment tonight is first and foremost to help us by the Spirit understand the value of spiritual empowerment. Because until you recognize the value for a thing, the, the energy to pursue is not there. Isaiah chapter 35, we'll read the first six verses. The wilderness and the solitary place shall be glad for them, and the desert shall rejoice and blossom as a rose. 
it shall blossom abundantly and rejoice even with joy and singing the glory of lebanon shall be given to it the excellency of Carmel and sharon they shall see the glory of the lord and the excellency of our god verse 3 he says strengthen ye the weak hands he says and confirm the feeble knees verse 4 say to them who are of a fearful heart be strong fear not behold your god will come with vengeance even god with a recompense he will come and save you as a result then the eyes of the blind shall be opened and the ears of the deaf shall be unstopped then shall the lame man leap as an heart and the tongue of the dumb shall sing for in the wilderness shall waters break out and streams in the desert the bible paints a picture of what can happen to a person and an environment when the power of god is introduced many believers have not been trained to see the value of spiritual empowerment for many believers spiritual empowerment is is it's an elective that you choose if you are interested in doing ministry so if you do not have any passion for ministry it's unnecessary it's a nuisance all i need is just the word but the word did not make any meaning until the word was empowered you are not a blessing until you are empowered spiritually you read from genesis to revelation there was no one who had capacity to do god good without god anointing him god will make a man build that man teach that man the systems of the kingdom and then when all is said and done among the many things he will grant access to his anointing i hope you know that god's power god's anointing is not the same anointing that God works with is what he gives you. So that your possibilities can match. Because man does not have in himself the capacity to produce God's dimension of results. If it is the Lord's doing, then it is marvelous. If it's not marvelous, it was your doing. You don't clap for me for walking. It's human to walk. There's nothing supernatural as it were about walking. But when you begin to manifest a dimension not given to men, it proves that there was an energy that was outsourced. No one was allowed to serve in the temple without empowerment. No matter how silly the responsibility was, you needed empowerment. No matter how skilled you were, every time God would call a man, out of whatever it is that he does, they must be empowered including mary the mother of jesus her carrying jesus for nine months did not empower her she had to join the 120 to wait until the spirit was it not the same spirit that put jesus in her womb but that did not empower her the bible is full of stories of people who were absolutely weak their humanity was so glaring but not for too long at a point in their life and in their experience they had a strange encounter with the spirit of the living god then they were anointed and things turn around in their lives there is no man of god who can produce god's dimension of results and be a blessing just being a wonderful humane human being there has to be a translation by the power of god are we together it is very very important zechariah chapter 4 please and verse 6 the prophet is speaking here zechariah 4 and verse 6 then he answered and spake unto me saying this is the word of god unto joshua selman saying not by might human strength nor by human power but it is by my spirit excelling in your business not by might nor by power but by my spirit doing the kind of ministry
ministry that will bring glory to Jesus, not by might, nor by power. Getting a job, not by mouth, nor by power. Being favored, not by might, nor by power. Are you getting what I'm saying? Breaking a chain that was there before you were born. There were people stronger than you. That chain kept them there. It is not by might, nor by power but by my spirit you must learn early to give up on the strength of the flesh it will embarrass you and continue to recycle pain to your life for by the arm of flesh shall no man prevail when a spirit is oppressing you there is no machine that will diagnose it machines don't diagnose spirits they diagnose the effect of their presence. But there is a word that is a discerner. is sharper than any two-edged sword. In Isaiah chapter 61, the messianic prophecy, we know this theologically to be, it says the spirit of the Lord is upon me. Because, in other words, this is the object, the motive, the motivation behind that. He had anointed me to preach glad tidings to the meek. Then he says, he had sent me to bind up the brokenhearted, to proclaim liberty to the captives, the opening of the prison to them that are bound. Every time I read this scripture, when I get to that prison part, it touches me. Who are these men in prison? Because they still walk around. Yet the Bible says they are not only tied, they are in prison. To open the prison to them that are bound. Verse 2. To proclaim the acceptable year of the Lord and the day of vengeance of our God. Then to comfort all them that mourn. 3. To appoint unto them that mourn in Zion. To give them beauty for ashes. Look at this. You can give a man beauty. You can say, bring your ashes. I will change it for you. Like you tell somebody, bring dollars. I will give you naira. You actually can be anointed to see a man's life. You are not praying now and say, God, change his life. It is within my power. There is an agency that can turn your life around. That men can receive something from heaven. That stops them from being human. You can look at a man with ashes, my brothers and my sisters. And within your power, according to the measure of grace, you look at that man and say, bring these ashes. I want to give you beauty. Like an award, like an exchange. And you say, go, you've had beauty. He will doubt it until his result shows. He steps out of that place. And all of a sudden, the scenario of his change and all this begin to change. And all that he sees is the glory of God. To give them beauty for ashes. The garment of praise for the spirit of heaviness. Look how men can become blessings to men. That something can come upon your life. When you see men mourning, you don't counsel, you don't sympathize. You tell them, I see you wearing a garment. It's only expressed in your tears. Let me take that garment away. And you can give them a garment of praise. That they might be called the oaks or the trees of righteousness. The planting of the Lord. That he might be glorified. God wants to be glorified through the empowerment of the saints. Please listen to me. It takes spiritual power to reign. It takes more than good intention. It takes more than good preaching. It takes more than a sincere heart. The days that we live in are evil days. Jesus himself Reveal to us that there is something called the hour of darkness. The hour of darkness. Psalm 63. The value 
showing you and then we'll tie up a few things and pray tonight you must desire sincerely the power of God oh God you are my God early will I seek thee my soul tested for thee in my flesh long for thee in a dry and thirsty land where there is no water why am I seeking you? To see thy power and thy glory in my life as I have seen in the sanctuary. Lord, I'm seeking you. There, is, there are things around my life that I know only your power can answer. I've tried to use human wisdom. I've tried to use certain things, but I know that I need to outsource an ability that is higher than me. Ah, happy is the man who is trusted with God's power. You will watch life come under obedience to Christ. But when you are not empowered, you can watch your family members go through the things that happen. Let me tell you this. Let me tell you this. You see, everything that happens in our lives can be likened to movie actors. Behind every movie, I don't, I don't do movie, but at least I know a little about it. That when you are acting a movie or drama, there's someone called a director, correct? You may never have the privilege of seeing him. He is at the back scheming things. What you watch is the action, but there is a director. You slap this one twice. No, no, according to my script, you should slap him three times. That means that behind the various scenarios of our lives, there are systems and spirits orchestrating it. The disfavor, the closed door, the unnecessary hardship, the lack of church growth regardless of grace. We focus many times on the events. The events are like probabilities. They are infinite. Behind every one of them are these spirits. And the Bible says, how all inspiring are your ways. It says, through the greatness of thy power shall thy enemies submit themselves. Hallelujah. I once counseled an elderly man, very old man. And while I sat down listening to him, he barely spoke and he started crying. And I said, sir, just talk to me. What is the issue? And then he told me that all through his life, he has not known what people call victory. That this thing they call victory is strange to him. It's like a man being pregnant. He says, I, I, I don't know anything about victory. I said, why? He said he was never taught some of these things. And he was angry because his life refused to change. This kingdom is a kingdom where in many cases it is the power of God that speaks. And until the power of God speaks like the roaring of a lion, some challenges will not let you go. Please listen very carefully. I shared with you in this place, Koinonia, about a woman who was pregnant one time. And then this woman would go to bed and literally see monkeys all around her, Pastor. Monkeys. And she gave birth to a child and the child came out hairy physically like a monkey, dead. How many people have been prayed for here with HIV? Ask them how they got it. They said they came to me in a dream with an injection. Said this is HIV. Injected you in the realm of the spirit and it appeared physically. That means you can change something in the realm of the spirit and then wait for it like a movie too to happen physically. If it started in the realm of the spirit, it must be adjusted there. It doesn't make sense to come from the realm of the spirit and then you adjust it physically. Some things will never change with counseling. Hear me. Some things will never change with time. Some things will never change with advice. You will need a head-on collision with the power of God. There are families where nobody has risen to any level. 
the last person who tried to rise there because of the little revelation here and there that he got when he was almost crossing it drew him back power the power of the holy ghost jesus knew the necessity of this he said tarry in jerusalem don't make a mistake of leaving jerusalem to start anything without empowerment i've given you the lecture but all that lecture will be nonsense if there is no power i just gave you theory but what you are going to be seeing there oh there had they not listened to jesus you would meet a man called bad jesus you would meet a young girl who was a sorcerer and she will show you word of knowledge that you are not seen listen let me tell you the world that is out there is not exactly ignorant it's just that the knowledge is demonic and diabolic you know many times when we teach like this even me i get uncomfortable sometimes because everything i say looks like a lie except that it is true hmm. it is true it is true Bishop Oyedepo gave a story that one time the church would not grow for a long time regardless of the prayers that were offered and then they were fasting just like this Lord why is the church not growing and according to him he said the spirit of the Lord asked him to go out and then he checked and saw that there was a blindfold over that ministry and he cursed it in the name of Jesus and it rolled like a curtain from that time increase began to come there are people every good thing you do is misunderstood it's not normal her man was begging the king called it rape there are spirits that make good things evil you come for somebody's program to help him they say uh -huh, they have come you don't come and they say ah something is wrong is a spirit let me tell you when the devil wants to trap you down only god can deliver you because anything you do will lead to the same result they box jesus with a question that both yes and no will put him in trouble it was not the issue of answering correctly or not i believe in the power of god i believe in the power of god listen let me tell you there are many things you have discussed. It's time to bring them face to face with God's power. You need the empowerment of the Holy Spirit. Micah chapter 3 and verse 8. But truly, I am full of power by the Spirit of the Lord. I am full of power by the Spirit of the Lord. I am full of power for exploits in the kingdom and that by the spirit of the Lord. I am full of power by the spirit of the Lord. This is what happened to Jesus. He was filled with the Holy Ghost but not with power. And when he was done fasting, the Bible says, and he returned in the power of the Holy Spirit. This conference would not have done us justice if it leaves us with just information without power. It takes power to change your situation. It takes power to birth the purposes of God in your life. Just because God said it does not mean it will happen. There is an energy, there is an agency behind. He says his divine power has given us. His word authorizes his power to move the power will not move until the word authorizes it but when the word authorizes it and the power is not there it will still be of non effect the dynamics of manifestation is this listen it is not just the union of the word and the power alone it is that the word is what gives authority and then the power is what manifests physically to create the change God's energy, God's ability, turning people's lives around, changing people's situations.
in Acts chapter 10 and verse 38, the Bible says how God anointed, don't get too used to these scriptures, how God anointed Jesus of Nazareth with the Holy Ghost and with power who went about as a result of the power doing good and healing all they that were oppressed of the devil for God was with him. This is a generation that needs the power of God. There are so many things that continue to challenge believers. We need a manifestation of the power of God. In one day, the issue of loyalty to God was settled when power came. Elijah said, let's stop arguing. Go up the mountain. Let's go to Mount Carmel. That the God that answers by fire, let him be God. And then he gave the prophets of Baal room to begin to do everything that they were doing. The Bible says from morning up until night. Do you know the highest dimension of their prayer was sacrifice? When everything failed, they started cutting themselves. He said, pray louder. Maybe he's sleeping. And Baal could not answer them. And then when it was the time of the evening sacrifice, there was a time when the angel of the Lord will come to the earth. Angels are not on the earth just all the time. They will respond to prayers. But there are activities on earth that make for the manifestation of the angelic. Do you know how Haman got the date to destroy Israel? I hope you know there was a date. Haman did not just say to destroy God's people carelessly. Through divination, a spiritual permutation was done and the exact date was there. That means every day is not conducive for everything. This is where spiritual intelligence comes in. Haman, through divination, found out the exact day. The same way there are divine appointments, there are also appointments of darkness. I heard a man of God share a very touching story. And when I heard that story, it really, really blessed me. He said there was a lady who was about to travel. She missed her flight. She felt so bad and cried that she missed her flight. Only for her to find out about maybe a, a few hours ago that the plane crashed. The family members were perplexed when they published the names of the people. The name of the daughter was not there. And they said, so what happened? She missed the flight and so she went to a train. The train still crashed. Those kinds of people are appointed to die. So it doesn't matter whether it's through plane or through this. The devil will haunt you until what happens, happens. Just when you think you are done with one breakthrough here, is something else. But then it says to appoint unto them that mourn. The same way that you can put a date to a man's breakthrough and call it today. You can call something that should happen next week and give it a date today by the anointing. Samaria was never supposed to be delivered. The prophet gave the date for the deliverance. It was, he, listen, Elisha was not revealing something that would happen anyway and maybe he was just privy to an advanced information. No. He said, by this time tomorrow, by this time tomorrow, if he didn't say it, the tomorrow will come and the cry will continue. And they will eat the child, the other child that they were arguing about. Do you know how many people's lives you will save when you are anointed? Do you know how many people you will save from going down the grave? Do you know how many people you will lift for going down the grave? There are many people today in the grave who had no business going there. If you're a minister here, please listen to me. We're in the days of his power. If you lack genuine spiritual power, please leave ministry. Just quietly leave ministry. You can find another ministry and help them. But I'm telling you the days that we live in, 
will require genuine spiritual power. The distinguishing factor will be the power of God. Because people will come with burdens that no level of intelligence can solve. Paul said, and I, when I came to you, he said, remember Paul was not a dull man. So he was not trying to trivialize knowledge. He says, but when I came to you, I did not come with the excellency of speech, but in the demonstration of power that your faith may not rest upon the wisdom of man, but upon the power of God. That you carry the power of the Holy Spirit like a drug and enter your house with it. You don't need to pray, just enter. And all of a sudden, the foundations of your family begins to shake. What is going on in this family? There is a shaking. What dreams are we suddenly having? It's because someone who represents the ark entered that house. One week after your coming, suddenly three promotions without your prayer one week after your coming a strange infirmity that each people in your family gives way this is proof that god is with you let me tell you this the world is truly tired of our stories are we together now and the impatience continues to grow we need a generation of men and women not just preachers men and women who understand the power of the holy spirit many of you are seated here right now buffeted by all kinds of challenges and for many people they think that the answer to those things maybe is just some nice discussion with an intelligent man of god now there are times that you need the power of God. Some of you join the queue sometimes to see me. And while you are talking, I just say, it's okay. Don't worry. You are tired. Let me explain. I said, it's okay. I know what the problem is. No matter what other examples you will give, is the same spirit. Like you tell a doctor, the other day I fell down. Let me tell you the scenario that he said, no, it's epilepsy. He said, no, let me tell you. He said, I found a problem. He said, even if you say you fell from a bridge, it's still epilepsy. It's working in me. It's working in me. It's God's ability. God's ability. It's working in me. Working in me, it's God's ability. God's ability working in me. It's working in me. Hallelujah. This is why we're gathered tonight. This is why we continue to press. Listen. Joshua Selman cannot be in every home. Joshua Selman cannot be in every office. Joshua Selman cannot be in every school. Joshua Selman cannot be everywhere. There is a problem if he's everywhere. You are supposed to be an extension of the possibilities of the kingdom within the region that you are in that means that when someone from the regions you have come from is contemplating and say ah i should come for koinonia but maybe i'm challenged financially and the rest you say i bring you good news that which is there is here here by the spirit he said this is that 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 the prophet spoke about this is it again this is that what is the problem i've been trying to see apostle why because things are not working in my family and then one word one word from you will open the gates this is what god is making and it has nothing to do with being a man of god or a woman of god by the time you carry the grace for favor and someone just comes and shakes you good morning sir and he thought he just shook a man and then he leaves and for that day 
he records breakthroughs in his life he will look for you and say please shake me again i don't know what you did i don't know what happened but you are like the ark of god in the house of Obed edom it was dropped there just to let it be under the care of Obed edom and in three months 90 days the life of a man changed because something was introduced jonah carried a spirit into a boat and people were about to die Jonah didn't pray. Jonah didn't preach. Jonah didn't talk. He was even sleeping. You don't have to be awake for grace to walk. Jonah was sleeping. Yet the anointing was working. That you can turn a man's life around by the spirit bringing glory to the name of the lord as an evidence a testament of the power of god but ye shall receive power at chapter 1 and verse 8 after that the holy ghost is come upon you you shall receive power not stories power i'm a businessman yes sir power I'm a politician. Yes, sir. You need more power as a politician than a preacher. A preacher has prayer ban. A politician does not have it. They can cover for you before you go for a retreat. But you are a politician. They hit you once you are gone. Listen very carefully. Let me tell you we are living in evil days. It is true. And you must sustain the stamina the spiritual stamina the empowerment how about wealth and increase remember the teaching that i did that you want to prosper and even your soul to prosper the devil says no way you choose one you can't have both either your soul prospers or your pocket prospers and you say no in god's economy we prosper as our souls prosper you don't sell your soul to prosper. The world's way is that you sell your soul to prosper. That was the exchange that was happening at the mountain. Give me your soul. What shall it profit? When it talks of profit, the commodity of exchange is a man's soul and the world. Like pure water and hundred naira. What shall it profit you? If you use this to buy this, the world soul trade by butter give me your soul i will give you access to the cosmos is god speaking to someone let me tell you something it takes the force of god's power for things to change the force of god's power and yesterday we spoke about one of the keys Let me just talk very briefly one area and then we will pray. Blessed be the name of the Lord. We spoke about one area, death. If you remember very carefully, that the price is death. Proverbs chapter 23 and verse 26. Thank you, my dear. Proverbs 23 and verse 26. My son, first instruction, give me your heart. We dealt with that yesterday. So we are switching to the next one. And let thine eyes observe my ways. He's teaching a man a secret here. Your eyes, your heart. Your eyes, your heart. Let your eyes observe my ways listen to me it's an anthem in this ministry that there is a relationship between your spiritual understanding and the manifestation of spiritual power you know most times people say there is power in the word of god and it's not a lie but the dynamic most people do not understand they think that the word of god is just like a charm or a genie and the moment you have it or recite it it has power no 
No. In the parable of the sower, Satan came and carried the word and he was not shaking. He didn't die. He carried the word. Only God knows where he went with it. When Jesus finished fasting, the word finished fasting, Satan appeared and was talking to the word with power on him. He didn't shake under the anointing. He even held Jesus and took him to a mountain. He held the word with power on it. That the word of God can be made of non-effect. There is a system that releases the power of the word. Are we together now? The word of God is a compendium of his ways, his methodology, his systems. Hidden in the systems, when you understand and engage accordingly, then you release the power that lies therein. This is very, very important. For most people, we just think that the word of God is in the recitation of it like a memory verse. Or in the chanting of it like a charm. You know how traditionalists would chant something in front of a masquerade. No. No. The sons of Sceva were speaking what would be in the similitude of scripture. But the demons did not leave. You have to understand this. And let your eyes observe my ways. That means that every part I walk is a pattern you should pay attention to. Observe my ways, how restoration came. Observe my ways, how speed came. Observe my ways, why Satan could not defeat me. He said, be observant. Before you speak, ponder, sila, think by the wisdom of the spirit. Obtain grace and understanding to discern. You can successfully replace the word observe there with the word discern. Discern my ways. We came from the same background. What did you do that suddenly brought favor? Observe my ways. There was something I did that the natural eyes cannot see. We were born the same day. What has happened to you that you have such an investment of the spirit? Observe my ways. When you give me your heart, observe my ways. My path are the paths of pleasantness. Observe my ways. There is a way that cement writes, the Bible says, unto a man. He says, but the end thereof are the ways of death. Jesus said, I am the way, the authorized methodology for results. It is my path. When you follow it, the results are guaranteed. The primary assignment of any man of God after getting people saved and filled with the Holy Spirit is to stimulate spiritual enlightenment and understanding by opening them to the ways of God. The methodology, the modus operandi. Please listen very carefully. Things don't just work because they are written in the Bible. Things don't just work because God said they should work. Behind his speakings, are his systems listen to me beyond words you have to see the lines that connect this is where the spirit of revelation of wisdom and of understanding comes you have to pray for understanding the utopian enoch had his bible open he was just coming from church on a chariot on his way to go back home and the spirit of the lord took philip and says to join that chariot and then he even saw that he was reading the messianic prophecy. He said, who is this man? He was led as a sheep to the slaughter. Was it he more about someone? He says, understandest what thou readest. How can I accept some man teach me? And then he began to explain. To make all men see. There is a grace that as the exegesis of scripture is as the bread is broken, your eyes suddenly see, this is it. This is where my family is. I've seen it. The word of God becomes for you like a compass. It shows you where you are and where you need to be. And when you have eaten and found it, it shall be a joy and a rejoicing to your soul. Behind the results that we seek. It's not only the word of God. But an understanding of the system allocated for it. Please listen to me. 
Just because the anointing produces results in an area does not mean it will produce results in an area. The anointing flows through the channel of your understanding to produce that result. And so the same anointing will be profitless if you are barren of spiritual understanding. Imagine with me for a moment that you have a tap that has potentials to gush out a lot of water and then you have a host. You can use it and you can guarantee that a garden will be watered. What waters the garden is not the host, but without the host, the water will not reach the garden. That host is your understanding. That is the basis of your faith. Faith is the confidence that you get based on God and the integrity of his word and the action you take to validate that confidence. It comes through understanding. Understanding is a real miracle. It's greater than rising up from a wheelchair. And he breathed upon them. He opened their understanding. We need to have a lot of understanding for the results that we seek to command. And I have these mysteries upon mysteries in this kingdom. One of the strange mystery, the mystery of praise, the secret to exemption. Aye. Paul and Silas prayed. They prayed, they prayed, they prayed, they prayed. There is a kind that goeth by praise. There is a kind that goeth by fasting. There are many kinds. There are dynamics of their operation. And the Bible says Paul and Silas, after praying, they praised. And it says all doors open, not some. All doors open. Praise can open doors. That a man can. He says glorious in holiness. Fearful in praises. We've had testimonies in this house. Where people will lock themselves. And write challenges that only God can solve. And sing praises and dance like fools. In the presence of that request. And by morning, God will say, you can't do this for me. Was it not a girl's dance that removed a prophet's head? What Jezebel could not do, Herodias, the daughter, did it in a dance. Dance during a man's birthday. He said, what will you want? Even to half of my kingdom. Consulted with her evil and wicked mother. Who said, remove the head of that prophet. And his head went for it. Do you know the mysteries allocated for the results that you seek? Praise. 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 In a dance. Not in a complaint. Praise. In a dance. Ah, madam. You're going to lose this pregnancy. From what we are seeing, there is problem. Praise. In a dance. Your certificate, everywhere you have taken for a job, they say, sorry, sir, it's too late. Sorry, you are too old. Sorry, you are too young. Sorry, it's women we are looking for. You are a man. Sorry, it's men we are looking for. You are a woman. Sorry, we are looking for Yoruba people. What tribe? I'm Hausa. Sorry, it's Northerners we are looking for. You carry that thing and bring it before God. And say, where is the God of Israel? Where is my job, oh God? Let my dance bring it. You can dance like someone in a bar. There's no miracle for that one. But you can dance the dance with understanding. Lord, I'm dancing before the God who can change my life. I'm dancing before the one who has all power. How about the mystery of prayer? God's authorized system of legislature over a territory. You don't legislate by discussion. No. No. When you want to enforce the value system of God over a spiritual climate, the mechanism allocated for that is prayer. You fortify a spiritual border through the ministry of prayer. He spake a parable. Are you learning something now? That men ought always to pray and not to faint. The mystery that gives you direction over affliction is prayer. It's in prayer that you understand what is going on. You don't pray after you have understood what is happening. Whatever you understand can be aberrated by your pain. 
it is prayer that purifies the revelation is any man afflicted not let him understand let him pray lord i don't know what is happening but let prayer filter this thing and you lock yourself and while you are praying suddenly the maze the purity of the revelation comes to you prayer when it was time for esther to deliver the people she said set yourself israel fast i will also fast with you as i go to the king it was a matter of life and death there are mysteries in this kingdom one of it is the mystery of your seed ah, the mystery of your seed now, I know that it may have been abused here and there, but very few believers understand the power of seed faith. It's not just some Pentecostal gibberish to collect money out of people. Whoever manipulates people, he has God there to judge him. But let me tell you, there are times you are tired of a dimension and you can connect a seed to your faith huh? and smash every Goliath down to pieces with your faith. Seeds have worked wonders in my life. Seeds have worked wonders in this ministry. There was a year I've shared with you where God gave an instruction to sow everything to empty every money in this ministry. Everything. That's suicidal for a man of God to do. Very suicidal. If your ministry is just a prayer group, you can afford that risk. Because whatever it is, the people will understand. And with careless, reckless abandonment, we did that. And in one week, it didn't pass seven days. God did a wonder that till forever will not recover from. Let me tell you, no matter what you do, a time will come when you have to keep quiet and let your speed continue speaking. It's a mystery in the spirit. The prophetic is a mystery. That you engage under certain circumstances. Every time the Bible talks of restoration. It does not talk of anything other than the prophetic. Read your Bible. Every time there was a loss in the Bible. It was the ministry of the prophetic that brought it back. Whether it was the axe head. Whether it was the bones in the valley of Ezekiel. No matter what it was. The moment the prophetic came. Then there would be restoration. Believe in the Lord your God, so shall you be established. Believe in his prophets, so shall you prosper. Is God speaking to you tonight? So every challenge that we have, that we stand with tonight, is at the mercy of the power of God, but released through the host of your understanding. Listen to me. It's not just about power, power fall on me. Mm -mm. When power falls on you, it's the same thing like splashing water everywhere. It must be coordinated through understanding to be channeled to the area where the results are needed. Just wanting power at random without understanding is the same way you fetch water and just throw it everywhere and expect it to coordinate itself into your mouth. There is a cup that fetches that water and it doesn't go to your head it doesn't go to your legs. You direct it where that water needs to go. When you are bathing, even if it's a shower, you don't stand anywhere and it touches you. You position the water. It is not water but assignment to know where your head is or to know where your face is or to know where the soap is. It's their assignment to release water. Is your assignment to work with your plumber and make sure that water is in a position that can get to every part of your body. So the situation happening with you in that bathroom, the water body is not aware. There was something about the way you turn the whole thing and it's not reaching you. Understanding gives value to power. Most people have power, but they don't have understanding. So it cannot be coordinated to produce results. We like power because of the charismatism that comes around it. But the efficiency of the power of God is produced on the platter 
of understanding. There's water in a well. Please help me with this. Look at this. Every well has water. But you don't stand in front of a well and bend your head down to drink it. You do that, you are going to fall down and die. The water that was supposed to bless you is now the reason for your death. But the water was packaged in a bottle. And the bottle, the person that designed this bottle designed it to enter your mouth. That's why this is not where you drink from. Are we together? He looked at the size of your mouth and made sure that the bottle would be able to enter there. Now the water can benefit you because the channel gave it coordination. Please understand what I'm teaching you. There are many people, what you may need may not be more power. Truly the power is resident within you. But understanding is what will give it, will channel it accordingly to produce the breakthrough that you need. And I have seen this again and again with many believers. They are not knowledgeable on spiritual things. They lack spiritual intelligence and yet they want the power of God. The divine power of God is like electricity. But you channel it to do the things for you that it wants to do. Trying to receive fresh air from a keyboard is not profitable. Yet it's the same power that powers a keyboard that powers this. So I must understand the dynamics of its conversion. To know if I want fresh air, it's a fan I look for. It's still the same divine power. It is the same divine power, but sometimes it is not expressed in prayer. It's expressed in a dance. Sometimes it's not just expressed in a dance. It's expressed in agreement. Sometimes it's not just expressed in agreement. It's expressed as you quote scripture and speak to the air. Sometimes it is expressed through submitting to a prophetic grace. Regardless of the dimensions, it is still his divine power that makes for that result. Listen to this. Tomorrow is our miracle service. And many of you see the things that happen in the miracle service. And sometimes you wonder, why do you have to do this? There are times that I may call on specific people and minister. And then at the same time, minister to everybody over the same case again. You see, it is his divine power. But the system of operation, there are others. Until the worship team raises a song, they will not be blessed. The nature of their challenges will require worship. The power of God will flow through the instrument of worship. There are certain people that God's divine power will flow through creativity. When it has to do with wealth, his divine power does not flow through the channel of prayer. So if all you know is prayer, you will heal the sick but remain poor. His divine power is trapped by your bankruptcy of knowledge. You must give his power channels to flow through understanding the more you have spiritual understanding the more you are giving his divine power channels to flow to the various faculties of your life it matters that we have understanding i am powerful i don't doubt you but show me the understanding and i see how far the power can go my understanding is limited to the healing ministry. That is the only area you will see the power of God. You will continue to fast and more power will come. But it will be directed towards that area. The day you learn the economic principle of the kingdom, you will see the power released there. It was always there, but your bankruptcy of understanding trapped it. Please get what I'm teaching you. It will not do us much. To just pray and pray and do impartation. And then the area where you are trusting God for. Maybe it's area of speed and promotion. But the only spiritual understanding you have is for restoration. The more you pray, the more you see things being restored. But promotion, you will not get it. And you wonder, God, can't you promote? He says, my power wants to move to the area of your promotion. But the host call understanding that would direct it is barren, unfruitful. And where that light came from was the hiding place of his power. I learned this in life and it changed my life. There were things I didn't know. 
and I didn't see the power of God in those areas. And for a long time, I would pray and fast and say, God, why? Until the Lord granted me understanding to know that the issue was not more power. The issue was the bankruptcy of spiritual enlightenment that will give it more capacity. God speaking to you. Imagine with me an octopus. Right? That sea creature with many channels. That's how God wants your understanding to be. His divine power should not only touch your finances alone. It should not only touch this aspect. Listen to me. Let me tell you the truth. I believe with all my heart that there is enough power and grace to produce what you are looking for. Connect that power through your understanding to the problem you are looking for solution from. If what you want is restoration, then use the understanding of the prophetic to channel the power of God to that direction. If you keep praying and God has mercy on you, he will bring a prophet to help you. That's his way of having mercy on you. But he will not violate the system allocated for that breakthrough. Are we together? You want to be promoted in a job. The power of God will not only flow through favor. It will flow through competence. Seest thou a man diligent in his business. Not prayerful in his business diligent in his business. He says she shall stand before kings. There is power in diligence. So when you become diligence, a dimension of God's power that never flowed will now start flowing through diligence. If you understand what I'm sharing tonight, you will see the knowledge dimension, the understanding dimension of the power of God. Otherwise, there is no need for knowledge when the anointing comes. What then is the value of spiritual enlightenment if the anointing just generically solves problems? Why should you anoint me with oil? Then I study the Bible again. What am I looking for? I know what I'm looking for. I'm giving that grace. Channels. Ah, Those who you call wonders, when you see them, they are not like an octopus. They are like an animal with many, many hosts. So almost every area of their life can be touched with understanding and the power of God. You see possibilities. That's what we came to do tonight. First, to receive more grace. But second, to say, Lord, this side has received your anointing. But this side, I'm trying to get this thing there. It's not working. What is the mystery that channels the power of God to this other area? Naaman was the king and the captain of the Syrian army. He was a valiant man. His discipline and diligence as a military man allowed certain levels of might to flow. But, but, if he knew that the prophetic would solve his problem, he would not be a leper till that time. It was because there was an information he did not know that kept him there. So God used a small slave girl to say, sir, there is a way out of this. Ah, tell somebody there is a way. Please prophesy to someone. Say there is a way. It may not yet be captured in your curriculum of knowledge. But there is a way. There is a way. Do not use your limitation to conclude that God cannot move in that area. Because he can. Because he can. Because he can. Everything God says. Listen to me. Listen to me. When he releases it, the spirit of revelation will take that prophecy and the power in it and ensure that you have the understanding that connects you to that prophecy. This is how it works. This is how it works. So the more spiritually enlightened I am, it is not the enlightenment that produces result. The enlightenment activates my mind and gives the power of God a channel to flow through. Listen to me. Medical people will tell us many times 
that when a part of the body is beginning to deteriorate, sometimes it could be that there was a pinched nerve. Is that true? Sometimes it could be that something happened that is not allowing blood to flow because the distribution is that blood should flow all over your body. But for some reason, the heart is still pumping blood. But something may happen to your vein or your artery or something and just try to create an interference, an inhibition. And for a long time, a part of your body will not receive the supply of oxygen and blood. And as a result, it begins to die. The heart is pumping, but that leg is dying. So it is the doctor's assignment through his knowledge to now create a system. And sometimes the relief is instant. Hmm. This is how it works. We went for a crusade many years ago. Anointed but poor. Yet his divine power was on us. That power was healing the sick but the police station was waiting for us. Are we together? Couldn't the power stop the police station? It could. Except that the knowledge we needed to allow it get to our finances, it was not there. And then by the mercies of God, he brought that side. Look, when light comes to you, it's a miracle. When light comes to you, now the power of God can flow through you. Let me tell you why certain people's results become very powerful. There are many people who may not have the level of anointing yet, but while they are waiting, they continue to get vast knowledge. It's like you are preparing the host in advance. The day that anointing comes, miracles in different areas because they were prepared. I've not met a man of God that can anoint me, but while I wait, what is the key to wealth? While I wait, what is the key to speed? While I wait, so everything is prepared, waiting for the oil to come. Why did he tell the woman, borrow vessels? Borrow many. Borrow a financial vessel. Borrow a speed vessel. Borrow a, a favor vessel. Borrow a restoration vessel. If you return, pour the oil. The oil will come on the speed vessel. The oil will come on this vessel. You see, and when there was no more vessel, the oil not died, not changed, not became powerless. The oil limited by the containers. The prophet saw the woman. He said, your husband didn't know what this oil could do. Even as a prophet and he died. You can be a prophet, but when you don't have vessels, you can die. Please tell me we are going to pray. I came with a word from God to tell you. By the grace of God, this is a place of God's power. But power just resting. You can roll from that door to that door. And the power will be there. And the only channel you gave that power was your prayer life. So you will see increased prayer. You are praying again like never before. And you are saying, but God... Thank you for the grace for prayer. But I said that I want something in my family. And then you fast again. And then more prayer comes. And then when God wants to help you. He will do to you what he did to Martha. Sit down. And listen. Look at how Jesus. Do you know Jesus did not do an impartation service every day. But he did a teaching service. His entire training was 99% teaching. And then one day, when they had created channels, he said, now with the Holy Ghost, hallelujah. When the Holy Ghost came on them, they prophesied, there was word of knowledge, there was salvation, there was healing, because the channels were ready. My son, give me your heart and observe my ways. Observe my ways. Observe why two people were anointed and yet they could not manifest certain possibilities. This kingdom works through knowledge. The knowledge is not a charm. The dynamics of the operation is that every result is governed by his divine power. But his divine power flows through the host of understanding. The prophets desire to know some things. 
the power that was on them was enough to help them do certain things. But they were denied. God stopped them and limited them by hiding certain levels of knowledge. So the anointing could not take them far to see some things. That's why God says we are a chosen generation. In other words, people, the prophets long to see these things. They had the power, but the understanding that will allow the power to take them that far was not there. Man of God, my church is not growing. Yet people come and get healed and blessed through my life and they leave me. It is because his divine power is walking through the dimension of understanding you have that allows for healing and allows for deliverance. But there is something about the grace that keeps that you do not know. All that you have given me, I have kept. By what mystery did he keep them? And none is lost except the son of perdition and that that scripture may be fulfilled. There is a grace that keeps. If you have it, you will keep money. If you have it, you will keep children. If you have it, you will keep blessings. If you do not know the mystery that keeps things, you will have them and lose them. You can have breakthrough and lose breakthrough. You can have good things and leave them. Apostle, every time they pray, I get the result. But it leaves after two weeks. I know what is wrong. His divine power is still there. But there is an understanding you need to know about how things can be kept. Let me tell you how you keep things in the kingdom. You hand them over to God. When you hand over things to God. But I know whom I have believed. And I am persuaded that he is able to keep that which is committed unto him. You can't keep that which is committed to you by your power. If they give you a bag of gold, you are running to Central Bank tomorrow. Whether the road is, is busy or not, you will smuggle your gold and run regardless of weather. CB and keep it for me. I trust my God, but not with respect to this gold. Please understand what I teach you. Our time is gone, but we are going to pray. For many years, I continue to ask, why are anointed people limited? I got one of the revelations that the anointing is in decrease and levels. And the anointing just like currency can only purchase the spiritual realities below its value. Every level of grace has a spiritual value akin to money. What one million will do is not what hundred thousand will do. If what you have is hundred thousand, you can only buy things from hundred thousand and below. If it's a card, you will not even buy 100,000. He must keep something small. So if all the anointing you have is to help people be healed, some can have 10 problems. Come, Sam. Look at this. Please um, sit down. We're going to pray. Let me teach you something. Let me have your attention. Please look. You have to get this thing I'm teaching you now. Look at this. Sam has headache. Just as an, an example. Some has headache. Are we together? Poverty. Number two. Number three, delay. Are we together? Number four is what? Huh? Demonic oppression. Now, I come as a man of God. Sam lists all these problems. When I lay hands on Sam, watch this now. The level of anointing I have will scan through the problems and only the situations that are below the level of anointing that will be solved. He may fall, but you will find out that when he rises up, only headache will be healed. The rest will not be touched because the level of grace, anointing is not anointing, it's a lie. Go and read your Bible. How God anointed, not just that he anointed, So the level of the anointing can make your challenges relative or otherwise. I used to think anointing is anointing. It just came from the Holy Spirit. Not so, sir. Not so. There are levels, there are dimensions of the anointing. 
And then when I grow further, I can now come to Sam again. And I say, Sam, what couldn't I solve last year? He says, sir, I listed five cases, only headache went. I said, well, I've come back with an upgrade. Let's try it again. I lay hands on Sam and suddenly a miracle alert will enter and all this will enter, but that delay will not be solved. So you are a blessing when you are very anointed. So anointed that most of the cases that come to you, there is grace to solve it. Listen, let me tell you this. I can tell you this from experience as a man of God. There are, there are situations I know that the grace that God has put on my life is by far higher than that situation. That's why when I see people come with that thing, I don't even bother wasting time to pray for them. I say, go, it's done. It's within the liberty of my grace to produce that solution. But there are cases that when I see sometimes, I know that I've met a match for my grace. And I need to return back to the secret place. Because when God wants to lift you, he brings people with serious issues. Lord, our church members. Then he brings someone deaf on both ears. And who is not even smelling. He stands before you. Can you hear? No, even small. Not at all. You pray for him. He falls down. He wakes up richer, but not healed. Because the grace that you released was for wealth. Are you seeing why balance is powerful? It's true. I used to wonder why Kenneth Hagin will have meetings 21 day stretch and sick people will come sometimes he will not pray for some he will leave them like that he will continue studying and growing one day he will come back and say you come and that will be it i now know what he was doing he was honest with himself he had a system of gauging was he not was he not jesus and even the disciples that will discern whether this situation is doable by me. If it was not doable, the one called certain apostles, they were not ashamed. When it has to do with this one, <clears throat> I'm still growing. Please, come. So the disciples pray for an epileptic patient in the name of Jesus. And nothing happened. And Jesus came and said, I know the problem. Two problems. One, the level of anointing is not there. Almost not there. Number two, your spiritual understanding. Because you saw me heal the sick effortlessly, I casted out the devil out of the gathering. But this kind goeth not. He was introducing them that there is a level where prayer and fasting will introduce a kind of power to you that will help you do certain things. I've shared a revelation with you that every time people fast and pray, it's like a spiritual energy. It's like fire that rises from within them. Do you know what that fire does? I will tell you. When a spirit leaves a man, it goes through desert regions. It's in your Bible, isn't it? And when it goes through desert regions, it becomes uncomfortable because a desert is a hot place. And it compares the desert to the body it left. If the body is colder than the desert, it will prefer to return back to the body. So that when a man begins to engage spiritual energy, and that fire burns within you, by yourself, that spirit will leave you. The Bible lets us know that anything in the similitude of fire is uncomfortable for spirits. That's why they like water. That's why water is a major part of their habitation. Because there is restfulness there. He makes me lie down in still waters. We are going to pray. The power of the Holy Ghost is upon you. 
But this night we must cry for understanding. 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 We will pray for higher dimensions of power. But superior dimensions of sight and understanding. Rise up on your feet. Thank the Lord for the word you just heard tonight. Lift your voice and thank him. Lift your voice and give him praise. We are praying. Is someone lifting their voices? I found my way. To a higher level. Found my way. Greater power. If someone pray. Please lift your voice and pray. Shala pragadiba ladaba ladaba. Holy Spirit, you are welcome. Fill this temple with your presence. Yeah. Holy Spirit, you are welcome. Say, Fill this temple. We wait on you. Lord, we wait. points number one lord quicken my understanding quicken my understanding grant me access to light spiritual illumination a comprehension of your methodologies tired of guessing tired of shadow boxing tired of hoping Are you praying? Shalabarakatos. We are still praying. Look up, please. Hallelujah. Listen. Mention the area where you need a miracle and say, Lord, what is the understanding that connects your power to that area? Lift your voice and pray. Mention the area. Lord, I desire breakthrough. I desire a job. I desire the spirit of revelation. I desire increase in ministry. What is the mystery? What is the key that will allow your power to be channeled in that area? Please pray. Please pray. 
Embragatali Katabara. Show me, O oh God, like Naaman, a great captain of the Syrian army. But what is the cure for this leprosy? Reveal to me by your spirit. There is a way, there is a way, there is a way, there is a path which no fowl has seen. The whelps of the lion has not gotten there. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh, oh. believers if you are a pastor here listen to me that is why communion service is not powerful because most people think it's about sobo and wafa so they say eat the bread and swallow the the drink and then they smile no when you understand the power you will not even be able to hold the communion set understanding they shall lay hands on the sick and they shall recover. There is more to it. You have done it the way you saw it. There is more to it. We are still going to pray. Father, I'm crying to you. Let my eyes draw a line between your word, my eyes and my situation. Connect something. Show me a key. Connect a mystery. By the spirit. I need speed in my life. Open down my eyes. I need restoration in my life. Open down my eyes. I don't doubt your power. My understanding is limiting your power. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Listen to me. Listen to me. And be very sensitive. Listen. This is why many of you, even after an encounter, nothing happens. Then you go and buy some books and sit with them and then get up and see results. No new impartation happened. In that book, there was a new host that connected a new channel for the power to flow. For a long time, you've been anointed, but you wonder why good things leave you. And then suddenly, the law of honor comes to you. You learn that honor is a law, and that when you honor graces, it gives you access. From the lens of that understanding, you will start seeing the power that brings favor flow. I don't have to pray for you for fresh grace for favor. Your understanding connected you. The power is at the mercy of which channel of understanding will allow me flow. 
It's not a different power that brings healing. That is a different power that brings miracles. It's the same divine power, but the system of operation is what makes the difference. Hallelujah. Understanding. These are mysteries about the anointing that are found by the Spirit. Questions that I asked for many years. What is the relationship between knowledge and understanding? Because some people choose knowledge. The word. The word. Other people choose anointing. Power. And I said, Lord, there, there is confusion here. I need you. And God said, no, there is no confusion, sir. The word gives you understanding. The power flows through your understanding. Representing the might of Jesus in the face of your situation. That's the power of the Holy Spirit. Prayer point number two. Some of you have understanding already. But like something can happen from the water board. How many of you have seen that because your house is uphill. Even when they bring water. Have you seen that kind of thing? You open, you turn the knob to the last, and it just comes in droplets, and you want to bath, you are in a hurry. So there is something that can help you buy a pumping machine and interface it between waterboard and your house. And when you put that machine and switch it on, suddenly the water can even enjoy your head because of the speed. That's what many of us need to do. A multiplication of the same thing that i have it all but lord a higher dimension i have a one thousand naira worth of anointing but i have a one million naira worth of problem upgrade the grace upgrade the grace lift your voice and pray there's no doubt lord i'm a prophet but upgrade the grace i've received the anointing for well but upgrade the anointing a higher measure Please pray. Believe in what you are praying and pray. Pray. Pela baranda shamarakata bakata. Thou anointed my head with oil. Thou anointed my head with oil. My cup run it over. My cup run it over. A higher level of grace, a higher level of anointing, a higher investment of spiritual power for signs, for wonders, extraordinary results, strange results. Acts chapter 19. From verse 11. There are a class of miracles. Called special miracles. A miracle in itself is spectacular. But there are miracles. Called special miracles. And they are wrought by the hands of men. Not angels. God wrought special miracles. By the hand of Paul. Read on. So that from his body. This is what makes it special. Because the rule is that you have to make contact with the sick. And now from his body. Were brought to the sick. You had our mother's testimony. Handkerchiefs and aprons. And diseases departed. When your handkerchief has a voice. is a special miracle. Because a handkerchief is not a living thing. 
Special miracles. It is not everyday anointing that produces special miracles. No. In Acts chapter 2, they were filled. In Acts chapter 4, they were filled. Father, I have seen yesterday's glory. I have seen yesterday's results. But before this fast ends, Lord, shift me to a new level of anointing. I have prophesied. I have seen the sick healed. I spoke to people and their lives changed. A higher dimension. Is someone praying? A higher dimension. I've seen the grace for wealth, but a higher dimension. I've seen the revelatory gifts, the revelatory grace, but a higher dimension. I have seen influence and honor, but a higher dimension. Someone pray. Someone pray. Eba shalabarada kata brande gede balakatu. Pray, don't be tired. Hallelujah. Let me share with you something. Second Corinthians chapter 12. We're rounding up. Second Corinthians chapter 12. Please give us from verse 8. We're reading three verses. 8 to 10. For this thing. Listen carefully. I besought the Lord thrice that it might depart from me. Let's see how God answered this prayer. This is the prayer of a man who was tired of his situation. Listen to how God is answering a man's prayer. He did his best to handle that situation in his strength. And he could not handle it. Now he's asking God for assistance. And God says, my grace is sufficient. But you don't know how it works. My grace is sufficient. But you don't know how it works. If it is strength you want, then it must be in exchange for weakness. If there is no darkness, Nepa is useless. Listen to me. Very, very powerful. If there are no sick people, Dr. Emeka is not needed. Are we together? If you are not thirsty, even if there is a bag, a drum of pure water here, it doesn't matter to you. So he says, for my strength is made perfect in weakness. Let me tell you what this happens. It's a mystery. Every time a human being becomes weak, something starts happening to the power of God coming to that direction. Listen carefully. Weakness is powerful because it attracts the strength of God. So when you set your soul to fast, as your body begins to become weak, the same spirit, there is something about your weakness that is calling the power of God. When Jesus stayed for 40 days, the weaker his body, the more the Holy Spirit saw the need to stay. It's a deep spiritual mystery. Jacob wanted a blessing and God looked at him from head to toe. There was no weakness. He said, how do I help you? I have to touch something. There has to be weakness for my strength to be valuable. 
The treasure cannot be stored in golden vessels. The fact that the vessel is earthen makes the power comfortable so that the excellency of power might be of God. So when you set your soul to fast, God who allowed fasting knows what food does to the body. Listen carefully. If you don't have this revelation, you will not understand what you are doing tonight. Why are you doing a marathon fast that from Wednesday you are not eating down till Friday? Do you want to kill yourself? What kind of nonsense is this they say? You watch what happens. There is a level you will get to where you almost want to collapse. Then watch what happens. Suddenly, like the eagle, you will pray and you will be tired. Have you not noticed that there is a switch every time? When you are weak, you want to pray. You plan to pray for three hours. After seven minutes, you are tired. You don't even know how this will happen. But you continue and continue and continue. Later, an agency takes over you. And even three hours, you can't finish. Listen. Listen. The power of God hardly starts things. He allows you to start. And then the power comes. And takes you to the flight. That's what happens. These are very deep spiritual mysteries. So these nights that you are not eating now. Your body is already frustrated. There is a level of life and health. That the body must have. For the mind to work. It's true. When you fast. Your mind also is subject to fasting because your mind feeds off the health of your body that's why when you die your mind does not work so you set your soul to fast every time the nation of israel were about to be overwhelmed by their enemies they will keep their weapons down and declare a fast plus goats plus everything while they are in sackcloth and ashes the spirit of god comes through a prophet this is what god is saying and victory comes. I besought the Lord thrice. Take this away from me. And it seems like there is a strength in myself. That is limiting the power of God. So I set my soul. In the similitude of weakness through fasting. And suddenly his power comes. And picks you up. Many of you will be surprised what will happen. It's not hunger starvation. It's a mystery. That's why I said a joy must be set before you to receive the grace to endure. You are going to cry for grace. The grace that will keep you through. My brothers and my sisters, listen, let me tell you this. Let me tell you this. If you don't learn this technology, you will break down in ministry. You see, when I left this place, I had a meeting till evening. It was when I was done just a few minutes to the program starting. Had to tidy up some other things before coming here. And I've been standing here. You have to learn to exchange your weakness. It's a technology you must learn. You are more powerful than you are. But until you are weak, you will not know. If a terrorist comes here right now and starts chasing everybody, you can run three days without food and you will not be hungry. That ability was always there. But there was a level of weakness that when your body... How do I explain this now, Holy Spirit? Just believe with me that subjecting you through this spiritual discipline is not a ritual of men. My brothers and my sisters... I hate the traditions of men and vain religion that has no power. We will never practice anything in this ministry that does not have power and spiritual significance. He won't stop till your strength looks like him. He won't stop. No, he won't stop till my life looks like him. God is raising mighty men in this place. God is raising 
People of power in this place. Yeah. God is raising sons and daughters in this place. He won't stop. He won't stop till our lives look like Him. He won't stop. He won't stop till my life looks like Him. So when the fast is done, then you will see that your prayer request of 10 years comes in one day. And then you say, Lord, what happened? My strength, your weakness called for my strength. Your weakness called for my strength. Why does the Bible call fasting humility? Because it's proof that you are weak. And so you call his strength. That they humble their souls in fasting. Lord, if you don't come to help me, I cannot help myself. He says, that's the language I want. Listen, our fast officially ends tomorrow by one. And then we come for the miracle service. Fire will burn in this place tomorrow. That everything that has not been planted by our God, he must let us go. God declared that it is extraordinary fruitfulness. That is the grace that you must carry. There will be a strong impartation in this place. And God will shift us. You are in ministry. Come with your heart open and come rejoicing. Because things must change. Hallelujah. Whatever challenge, whatever has refused to bow, come with it. Come with it to Jesus. And let us see the power of his grace at work in our midst. Don't forget tonight's teaching. Understanding allows the power to flow to the area where the breakthrough is needed. And that you will need greater dimensions of spiritual power to purchase certain possibilities in the spirit. So let this be your prayer all through tonight. Just because you are weak does not mean you should snore yourself till morning till one. Find a corner even in your weakness. If you have to kneel, kneel. You are allowed to drink water. But please trust God for grace to wake up and pray. If you have a neighbor, you have a friend, tap the person. Say in Jesus name, your destiny is calling you. Wake up. Pray. The virgins slept and there was a call. And they didn't have the time to go and buy extra oil. And because of that, they were in trouble. You have to be alert. You have to pray. And listen for what he will say. There are certain things you cannot think about now. Your body is too weak to allow your mind to think it. So your spiritual focus is accurate. You can trust your hearing. So, Satan comes to Jesus at the first instance. And Jesus said, it is written. It is written. It is written. That provided a measure of victory, but he still came back again. This time around, Jesus did not just say it is written. He did it is written and it brought permanent victory. Are we together? So there are two realms of establishing victory as we see in and through the life of Jesus. Number one is your confession of faith, which is according to that which is written. Not just according to that which you feel, not just according to that which you think we have established the fact that it is written is greater than feelings it is written is greater than um i saw visionary experiences greater than the prophetic i heard in order of priority and supremacy the word of god excels above all these realms but there are many of us our victory is limited because the only thing we do is to say it is written. And the Bible does not leave us in the dark as to the fact that saying it is written, that means dwelling only in the realm of your confession of faith will produce for you a measure of victory. Three times Jesus said it is written and Satan left him, but he left only to return. But when Jesus did it is written, the victory was permanent and established. It is written. 
in the name of Jesus I am light I am salt it is written in the name of Jesus I am the head and not the tail in the name of Jesus I am not poor in the name of Jesus I am great that is wonderful that is you have already begun your journey to victory but that remaining in that realm alone will eventually frustrate you imagine if Jesus just stood and said in the name of Jesus or in the name of the father I have died for sinners all sinners you are coming to the saving knowledge of Christ that would be wonderful but to end there till today we would not be saved that means it takes more than just saying what is written are we together we must move past that realm to aligning our lives and then doing what is written that is what establishes our victory perpetually most believers know how to speak well and even psychologists will tell you that when you speak well you are giving your mind your subconscious the tools that will create the physical expressions of your reality so in any case whether you are born again or not speaking positively and speaking um releasing that positive energy has an advantage to your life but victory in the kingdom is more than that it starts with your speaking but it must end with obedience your doing please give us hebrews chapter 4 paul was giving us perspective as to the power of the word of god he says let us therefore fear lest a promise being left us of entering into his rest uh-huh any of you should seem to come short of it verse 2 he says for unto us was the gospel preached as well as unto them but the word preached did not profit them the word that was preached was not wrong the word that was preached was not important and yet it did not profit them why not being mixed with faith in them that heard it not being mixed with faith in them that heard it that means they heard the word that was full of life and full of power and yet because they did not mix it with faith and you know what faith is by now that faith is beyond professing the word of god faith has to do with your obedience in one word faith is obedience are we together many believers are unable to establish sustainable victory in their lives not because the word of god is a lie and not because jesus christ has lost his power and victory over satan and circumstances but we are unwilling to finish this faith equation and so give him room to manifest his power in his fullness because for many believers we have not even gotten to the first realm of believing him enough to speak and declare the bible says the righteousness of faith speaks the righteousness that is of faith speaks but it does not just stop with confession there are many many people who make empty confessions in the name of jesus i will not fail and yet they do not find out the kingdom principles that are allotted for victory experientially and so we continue to declare in the name of jesus i am walking in favor in the name of jesus i am walking in abundance and that can get us a measure of victory and results but then we refuse to find out the principles that we need to work with in keeping with the word of god as far as those areas of needs are concerned and then we find out that our confessions almost become a mockery of our christian experience because we are unable to establish victory hallelujah so it starts with your faith and your faith the from the abundance of your heart the bible says the mouth speaks so don't get me wrong confession is a very important part because confession tells us what you believe in fact give us first john chapter 5 please from verse 4 and 5 it says for whatsoever is born of god overcometh the world hallelujah for whatsoever is born of god overcometh the world and this is the victory that overcometh the world even our faith i'm interested in verse 5 
verse 5 says who is he that overcometh the world but he that believeth that jesus is the son of god that means not everybody's an overcomer the overcomer is the one who believes not just anything and everything you must believe that jesus is the son of god hallelujah but then in believing that he is the son of god you must also move past that realm and then obtain grace from god to walk in keeping and to do that which commits his integrity to your life this is the area where many believers are missing it do you know as i prayed preparing for this miracle service the spirit of god began to burden my heart again and again as to the fact that it is important for believers to understand the potency of the word but more than the potency of the word the dynamics of the operation of the word believers need to be taught afresh how the word works the administration of the life and the power that comes through the word because now we're living in times you know what is happening across the globe and even in our dear nation challenges all everywhere and for many people their christian experience is beginning to be frustrating because they are now experiencing uh, things like lack and want and need to the point where their basic needs cannot be met again do you know i've observed that in africa and especially in nigeria we have a very we have a very we are we are very elastic we have a strong ability to endure so it will be difficult for people to give up on god just for maybe because they don't have a job or their health they can manage and still believe but when it gets to a point where you lack food to eat when your basic needs are affected at that point satan would have made a statement that if care is not taken can affect your christian experience i was listening very carefully to the testimony that i think um a sister or brother gave how that they were mocking her and saying this church girl this is not about church thing it is about a spiritual thing but not a church version you understand what they're saying there are many people who are already receiving invitations to return home and you know what that means to return home means to return to something that seem to have produced a level and a kind of result let me tell you the truth heaven and earth will pass away but believe me when i tell you the word of the lord abides forever do you believe that who is he that overcometh but he that believes in the son of god when you look at the global you know news around the globe economically politically when you look at nigeria we've been challenged especially in recent times even within our city here the fct unfortunately and so it the, the faith of many believers are being dampened people are discouraged people are asking god are you there are you alive do you not know that the value of light is when there is darkness are we together now david would have no ministry if they were not goliath so all of these goliaths moving around are giving the saints an opportunity to demonstrate once and again the all-surpassing power and intelligence that resides within this kingdom i want you to find a way of believing this ecclesiastes i believe it was verse 1 chapter 1 and verse 9 it says the thing that is is the thing which the thing that has been it is that which shall be and that which is done is that which shall be done and there is no new thing under the sun that means as far as the sequence of seasons and living is concerned there is nothing that is new if it is wars it has happened if it's terrorism it has happened before are we together if it's hatred and wickedness it has happened before if it's victory and triumph it has happened before as an individual as an institution as a nation nations have been freed from tyranny through history nations have been under the bondage of tyranny through history and all sorts of things he's saying that there is absolutely nothing new under the sun 
that means when we are challenged with things that seem to be new in our life he comforts us that they are not new before god that this earth is old enough and it has captured within its space all kinds of things the good the bad and the ugly but that above them all there were people who conquered those systems this is a word of hope for us hallelujah heaven and earth will pass away but that the word of the lord abides forever but it does not mean that it will automatically work for you this is what i want you to listen and understand most of us believe i am a christian i am coming to church that is wonderful and yet the word of god does not seem to produce in our lives why is that so because number one we have lost touch with our belief and our confession of faith jesus our pattern man is teaching us that over satan over negative situations and circumstances your first port of call is to believe in the victory of jesus and to confess and profess it with understanding that in the name of jesus when men say there is a casting down for me i declare that there will be a lifting up never outgrow confessing the word in truth do not see it and say this is something for children except you don't believe the bible satan comes to jesus and he says it is written it is written it is written it is written with long life will i satisfy you and show you my salvation it is written you shall be exalted above all the nations of the earth and this blessing shall come upon you and overtake you it is written you will call on one person and a nation will respond to you it is written you have to listen it is risky to build your life today in today's world on any other thing aside from that which is written you are sitting on a time bomb i'm building my destiny on my uncle's uh, promise to me that is dangerous your uncle is a man i'm building my destiny on my many certificates congratulations but believe me when i tell you vanity upon vanity anything that is not the word of god does not sustain by itself the power to stand the test of time are we together there are many who are building their faith and their conviction today on men of god as wonderful as that sounds that is dangerous and that is a risk there are many who are building their faith and their conviction on the monies that they have in their bank account it's one thing for your account to be fine and it's another thing for the bank holding your account to be fine hallelujah if you were alive in the days of noah whether you were an investor whether you were a businessman whether you were an excellent farmer whether you were a professor whether you were naive that flood was going to carry every one of you the only person who would survive was the one who got into that ark hallelujah and every once and again events happen in the earth where there are no alternatives except the word of god that ark of safety you see is the word of god it says to build the ark of gopher wood and let it have three stories anybody who was too proud or not discerning to enter that ark died with the flood the heavens gave its rain the earth gave its rain whoever was in between had to go plants animals everything do you know i know that historically there are still arguments today whether the flood of noah really happened the bible tells us that it happened and so we believe we've not experienced catastrophe on earth like that if nigeria has a problem for instance you can run to another nation where there is land and then you can run somewhere and find safety but what if the whole earth the whole earth has water what skyscraper will lift you above it when the heavens sending its rain the earth sending its rain and the on earth can you imagine no nation was saved only one ark who we see that overcometh but he that believes that that name of the lord is a strong tower that you can run into it like noah ran with his sons to the ark and that they are saved 
don't blame noah it was not his fault he was obedient enough to not just say what was written but to do he built it for about a hundred years and history tells us they laughed at him they mocked him to scorn and then when the time had come god himself closed the door and rain came and everyone died i've told you that it was not the ark alone that protected them if the whole earth is submerged with water cold will kill you even if you are in the ark i hope you know that so entering the ark was not what protected them the weather condition under that kind of condition i mean come on you have basic knowledge of geography the whole earth being cold it will kill you you will freeze right there and yet they were preserved by the hand of the mighty one i don't know about you but as for me i have made up my mind that for as long as i live this becomes the basis for my living i have explored a lot of other options and i've seen how weak they are in the face of real life situations the bible says the word of god has been tried seven times and it has survived please listen to me ladies and gentlemen thank god for medical doctors but we're living in times where even they themselves are confessing that they will keep doing their best but they are limited thank god for architects engineers professors and all of that you are in nigeria here our universities sadly have been closed for months i don't know about you but let me encourage you by the spirit of grace that we are living in times that are not only perilous times we're living in times where every believer needs to return back to the integrity of god's word it is written is the ancient pathway that many followed and navigated their way through the tides of life and destiny you would think they will fail with it and yet at the end of it that ark will be standing and the bible says the ark rested on mount ararat hallelujah there are people here tonight sick in their bodies and most of them do not believe that god is able to heal most of them do not believe god is able to deliver listen to me ladies and gentlemen let me encourage you by the spirit of grace i want you to believe that miracles still happen find a way of convincing yourself it is true find a way of believing that breakthroughs still happen find a way of believing that the word of god still works in spite of all the negative things that seem to mar our society I'm speaking words of faith to your spirit as you are seated listening to me inside outside across the globe I want you to believe that God is dependable I want you to believe that the name of Jesus is truly a strong tower that the righteous can come to it and they can find safety safety against all kinds of things hallelujah this is the basis for the miracle service it will be evil and unfair to gather thousands of people here and across the globe and just listening to a man communicate the philosophies of men or give you ideas that have not been tried our confidence is not in ourselves our confidence is the fact that we only stand behind the integrity of this that is written and we stake our lives I can tell you the truth the word of God will work for you it will not just work because you say it it will work because you make a determination to obtain grace from God to walk in keeping with the principles that commit that word to your life if the Bible says when men say there is a casting down for you they will say there is a lifting up now you confess it let the redeemed of the lord say so are we together but then you find out what else should be done what is the participatory role that you have to play in making that scripture right and true 
if the bible says call on to me and i will answer i will show you great and mighty things if you want to see great and mighty things you don't sit down and expect god to just reveal you call on to him because that is the condition and to call on to him does not mean to be calling while you are distracted you must give him dedicated attention lord i am calling on to you you have given me an assurance by your word that if i call on to you you will answer you will show me great and mighty things now i dedicate my time in fasting in prayer let me hear you speak to me and he will come hallelujah the Bible says there is he that scattereth and yet increaseth. There is he that withholdeth more than his meat and tends to poverty. That means if you are withholding and you are greedy, it will be unwise for you to be surprised that you are poor. Are we together? Because the Bible already told you that if you withhold and you are not one who is a giver, you will be poor. And then if all you are doing is giving alone, giving money or resources, you will be surprised that you'll be having momentary testimonies but it will not last because giving is not the only key are we together see yet thou a man diligent in his business the bible says he will not stand before mean men he will stand before kings you have been taught so if you give a loan and tithe a loan they all have their allocations but if you are not valuable you will stand before mean men is someone learning now as a man of God, the Bible says, study to show yourself approved unto God. A workman that does not need to be ashamed. If there is shame all around your life and ministry, don't just say it's an attack. Go and find out. Have you risen to that point of spiritual competence where it will be just for God to send the nations to hear you? More than saying it is written, your heart must be inclined to doing it is written why do we pray for the sick because the word of god declares that we can lay hands on the sick and they will be healed and that the healing ministry listen very carefully the healing ministry is part of god's is is part and parcel of the gospel what salvation does to the spirit of a man that's what healing does to his body every human being is given one body per lifetime medical science has not yet perfected the art of transferring a spirit into another body so whatever plagues your physical body is a dimension of the administration of death to your life sickness is death asking for your attention are we together now yes why do we set people free from all kinds of oppressions because the bible tells us that satan is behind many and most of the evil that we see in our lives and our destinies that we know that every time a man's destiny continues to capture negative occurrences it is more than a sociological event is more than an economic issue it is largely and almost always a spiritual issue and that behind it are spirits so he gave us authority over devils snakes scorpions and so when we declare in the name of jesus all of the manifestations and the things that you see those are just physical expressions but the real thing happening in the realm of the spirit is that we are placing a demand because god said to do it now we do it with faith hallelujah and every devil of hell gives way and people begin to return with testimonies now look what god has done in my life like it will happen to you this night in the name of jesus christ Amen. apostle i'm tired of my condition open the bible and find out who was tired of his condition and what he did about it an example of someone who was tired of his condition was the man jabez the bible says the mother bore him in sorrow and she named him jabez he would have sat down there saying one day go better and he would have gotten old and died and it would have been that God cannot save men. But Jabez said, like someone must say tonight, Oh, that thou would bless me. In other words, Lord, I'm tired. It's not my fault to give birth to me in sorrow and cost me as a result. I don't blame my mother. I will not hate her. But destiny you must change. And he cried unto God. He said, Oh, that thou wouldest bless me. And the Bible says God heard him. God still hears, oh. God still hears hallelujah 
How about people who were poor and were tired of poverty? Go and read your Bible to the extent that one of the wives of the, you know, the sons of the prophet that had died, they were going to carry her children. And she ran to the prophet. That means when you are in debt, the first place you should run to is not the bank. Read your Bible. It's not just the bank. The first place you should run to is any vessel that represents the prophetic, the voice of God. It was when she met the prophet and the prophet said, what do you have in your house? She said, nothing except a little cruise of oil. The blessing really did not just come from the man. Are we together now? The blessing was already in her house, but she needed the prophetic to activate it. The oil would not multiply, but it had potential to multiply. The same way the loan you collected in the bank can help you, but without prophetic blessing, the devil will still use it and multiply your debt. What you first need is a prophetic word so that whatever you now do is empowered by prophecy. apostle i'm struggling with sickness my body it looks like there is there is no my, my body is responding somehow go to that which is written open your bible find out there were sick people in the bible who were healed what did they do the things that are written are for time they are for our learning so that we through the patience and the comfort of scripture may find hope that means the first part of call every time you see anything in your life that is not favorable go straight to it is written not i saw not i thought i saw can deceive you you may have a vision that will keep confusing you for years leave that vision and go to it is written you have not yet verified your vision, but it is written as been verified. Many people's destinies have gone haywire because of I saw. Many people's destinies have gone haywire because of I heard. Nobody's destiny goes wrong when it is written. Listen very carefully. Some of you, as you are listening, you will find out that healings and miracles are already happening. Listen. I walk in the prophetic by the grace of God. God has granted me revelation, but can I tell you, I have learned by experience and by the word, it is a risk to leave your destiny at the mercy of I saw. It is a risk to leave your destiny at the mercy of I. Do you know how many people saw me already dead? Many years before now? Genuine prophets. They saw, but it is written, vetoed it. If you live by I saw, you live by I heard, you live by I felt, you will be a victim of situations and circumstances. I've had many revelations that relate to this ministry and this work, but the greatest basis for what we are doing, ladies and gentlemen, is not what I saw, not even my encounter with Jesus. That which is written is greater than my visions. So that even when I later discover my visions were wrong, I still find consolation because they were not the basis for my action. I only trust my vision if it is consistent with what is written. Are you learning now? Yeah. Why did you come here tonight? To change what you saw to look like what is written. Why did you come here tonight? To change what you heard. Or what you are hearing to what is written apostle i have seen that there is a growth in my stomach it is our assignment to midwife that process that converts every negative thing you have seen you have heard you have felt to what is written if that happens our assignment is done Oh, Apostle, I see that economically things are going down financially they are going down I agree based on what we saw but the believer is not just one who walks with what he sees or what he hears do you not believe the bible again let god be true and all men the bible says god who in sundry times and diverse manners spake to us in time past through the prophets have in these last days spoken to us through his son the word whom he had appointed to be heir over all things
Jesus, the Son of God, I believe in you. I believe in you. Jesus, the Son of God, I believe in you. There used to be an old song we used to sing. Thy word is a lamp unto my feet and a light unto my path. Very powerful song. Thy word is a lamp unto my feet and a light unto my path. Please hear me. If you ever see any sick person stand here healed, it is not just because Joshua Selman is powerful. It's because by the privilege of God's grace and partnership with the word and the spirit, he has taught us the art of converting the things that are seen and the things that are heard and the things that are felt to become the thing that is written. This is the mastery of a minister. You are as powerful to the degree to which you can change in the lives of people. The things they are seeing, the things they are hearing, the things they are feeling to become what is written. When you pay that price with the spirit, he can now trust you with the destinies of nations. Because indeed you will be a blessing. My God is able to do just what he says he will do. He's going to fulfill every promise to you. Yes, someone's word. Don't give up on God because he won't give up on you. chapter 1 from verse 34 the angel speaks to Mary now Luke 1 34 please help us and he said to Mary how shall these things be seeing I know not a man how shall my healing happen now seeing that it has defied medical con medical explanation verse 35 he says the angel answered and said unto her the Holy Ghost shall come upon thee and the power of the highest shall overshadow thee. Therefore also that holy thing which shall be born of thee shall be called the Son of God. Verse 45. It says, And blessed is she that believed, not just she that heard, for there shall be a performance for who the person who believes is more than just hearing is more than just agreeing the performance is not just for the believer in terms of i heard i agree but one who believes and takes the action if we say in the name of jesus lay your hands where you are feeling all the trouble and the pain and you don't Number one, even if you agree and believe in Jesus and believe in me, chances are excellent you might not be healed. If we say check yourself and the moment you find out the power of God has touched you, come and you feel you are healed and yet you keep quiet. Remember the woman with the issue of blood? She felt within herself that the fountain of blood had dried up and she didn't keep quiet. Jesus said, who touched me? And the woman came. saying it is written will bring you a measure of results victory but doing and more importantly living by it is written is the secret for perpetual victory regardless the government in power 
regardless the economic tide regardless the time and the dispensation because the bible says that should be colossians am i right one and verse 16. please give it to us let's see how exalted the word of god is it says for by him were all things created the him being the word that are in heaven that are in earth visible and invisible whether there be thrones or dominions principalities or powers all things were created by him and for him all things including your healing all things including open doors all things i believe with all my heart that i would never have a better yesterday it is not my agreement with god not from my personal work with god not from scripture where then would that come from i believe what i believe is that which is written that the path of the just now the question is whether i am the just or not if i am not the just then he was not talking to me but if i am the just the bible says that my path will be as a shining light that shines more and more as childlike as this truth is you wave it away and see how your life will oscillate and vacillate from light to darkness and darkness back to light. Hallelujah. Deuteronomy chapter 28 from verse 1 and 2. This is the secret to the lifting. This is the secret to being exalted above the nations of the earth. That it shall come to pass if thou will hearken diligently unto the voice of the Lord thy God to observe and do all his commandments which I commanded this day. That the Lord thy God will set thee on high above all the nations of the earth. Verse 2. It says, and these blessings shall come on thee and overtake thee if thou shalt hearken to the voice of the Lord thy God. So I believe it. I can't expect the blessings to come if I do not hearken. Hallelujah. There are many of us who are expecting things in our lives that our obedience have not purchased for us. I expect healing based on what? I expect influence based on what? Genesis chapter 17. Let's look at 6 and 7. For some of you here who the devil is lying to you that you will never rise, you will never be great, the nations will not hear your voice. The devil is a liar. He says, and I will make thee exceeding fruitful. Is that in your Bible? And I will make nations of thee, and kings shall come out of thee. Verse 7. He says, and I will establish my covenant between me and thee, and thy seed after thee in their generations. What is the covenant? To be a God unto thee and to thy seed after thee in politics there's what we call godfather that means the person who backs you the person whose voice can help and lead you when you knock on a door politically they ask you by whose on whose stance are you coming here god is saying i will be a god to thee that means any door you knock and the door tries to speak keep quiet the one sent who sent you your obedience just gives him the room to answer you knock on the door of favor and favor says i have never opened for anyone in this lineage and the one who sent you says now you have to open because the king of glory is the one who defends him we make our boast in the lord is a risk to make our boast based on intellectual knowledge alone or based on human connections as important as they are they are only powered because above and beyond them we stand on this truth that that which is written is greater than i saw I heard I felt do not forget this message so when you see all kinds of things killings and whatever it is it is true that your eyes is seeing all this but for you you maintain your confession of faith in the name of Jesus we declare that Abuja is safe in the name of Jesus we declare that there's victory in Nigeria in the name of Jesus we declare that light the light shines in darkness and darkness comprehended it not you see that is your own contribution to the victory folding your arms and waiting for instance for the nigerian army to suddenly announce to you that total victory has come is irresponsibility every believer in christ has a potent role a spiritual role that has a, a physical expression in keeping our borders safe he said pray for the peace of jerusalem then he says they shall prosper who love you are we learning but as for tonight, I welcome you to this adventure 
that turns what you have seen that is not consistent with what is written what you have heard that is not consistent with what is written in fact some of you are holding what was written but my question is written by who because there are many people who are writing with all due respect doctors write failure to write it has a biro it can write the devil is the one who writes the most writing and his and his his canvas is the life and the destiny of people but there is one who can write it does not matter what was written before him when he writes that is the end of it so the sickness that you are feeling you can choose to believe the feeling more than that which is written and it will remain so the negative event around your life and family you can choose to believe what you are seeing above and beyond that which is written and sadly it will remain so but the miracle service tonight your own responsibility is to say father i know what i have seen i know what i have heard i know what i'm feeling but i came to church tonight as a sign that i believe that you have the power to turn what i have seen to turn what i'm seeing in my family what i have heard to become what is written is someone a believer so like the precious lady who gave her testimony having breathing problems palpitations in her heart that is what she's feeling and let me tell you the truth that thing you see there is real because she's feeling it however there is a technology in the spirit where what is written can superimpose what you are feeling ah, this is what it means by casting down every imagination from the greek word yetzar and bringing every knowledge every thought to the obedience of christ hallelujah we are going to do a very quick walk tonight very very quick walk tonight as soon as we arise to pray may i please request that the ushers and all who support them to begin to collect the prayer request by the way i hope you believe in what god is doing with the prayer request here if you are here and you're you're new i want you to believe this is not some superstitious things we have to explain these things because you know somehow believers can abuse a lot of things your prayer request written by you is the most accurate communication of your desire and your expectation the bible says what things soever ye desire when ye pray it says believe that thou receivest it and thou shall have it jesus was speaking and he said he that told you have not asked for anything it says ask that you might receive that your joy might be full ask and you will receive to the end that your joy may be full the god we serve answers prayers is true so as you write make sure you are not just writing it as a ritual i want you to write it this health situation this financial situation this issue of my stubborn son i have no covenant with god that my womb will give birth to an arm robber he may be stealing around but write it in the name of jesus so 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 and so is turning from an arm robber to a saint are we together you are a man you are a father and you are unable to take care of your family you write it down because the bible says any man who cannot cater for his family has denied the faith and is even worse than an infidel lord i am not an infidel i am the righteousness of god in christ that means the wisdom and the empowerment to take care of my family i came here to receive tonight most people don't know what to write i can tell you with all due respect when we check many people's prayer requests is largely nonsense that is written there petty childish things that does not even deserve any spiritual attention write serious things that connect to destiny are we together now yes please write when we bring it to the altar here we agree by faith and whilst declarations come you believe by faith now, no matter how much i may want to prophesy to everyone we are limited first in knowledge 
and then the limitation of time and so not everybody may have the privilege of any personal prophecy sometimes maybe nobody the most important thing is for you to know listen carefully that in an atmosphere where there is faith in an atmosphere that allows the move of the spirit anything is possible when you hold my hands everything becomes possible when you hold my hands impossible becomes possible when you hold my hand everything becomes possible when you hold my hand May I request, if you are going through any financial challenge in your life, please write it. I know there, there are financial situations that require wisdom, value, dedication, relationships, all of that I understand. But there is an advantage that we have in this kingdom. There is the prophetic dimension to the activation of God's power and blessings even as regards finance and we are living in times right now where we need that dimension of God's grace at work I vowed a vow to God that I will never lead a people who are just spiritually vibrant and yet not doing well economically do you know why because a lot in our life and our civilization depends on economic empowerment there's no point hiding it there's, there's nothing to shy away about Imagine that as I'm standing right here, uh, I'm suffering financially and things are not going well. And I start passing a basket to you and say, drop something while I'm preaching. Don't even ask me anything. Just drop it first. You see, that will be a compromise on integrity and is based on hunger. We have shared here according to Genesis 42 from verse 1 and 2 that the only reason why Israel goes to Egypt is hunger. When Jacob saw that there was corn in Egypt, he told his sons, why do ye look upon one another? Verse 2. He says, behold, I have heard that there is corn in Egypt. The problem is not corn. The problem is the location. Get you down thither, he says, and buy for us from thence that we may live and not die. When the devil wants to destroy your spiritual life, one of the ways that he destroys your spiritual life <clears throat> is to attack your finances and then to make sure that the only place you find corn is in a place where Jesus Christ is not glorified. You can fight and say, I'm not going there. But when hunger gets to you, by yourself, you will go down to Egypt. Someone shout, God forbid. I truly believe in the empowerment of the saints. Even the economic empowerment of the saints. Possible when many people are blessed, they leave the Lord. That means those guys are going to run away from heaven because heaven is a place that is an epitome of the blessings of God. It is not the abundance of resources or the absence of resources that cause people to leave God, it is the state of their heart. Are we together now? A person who becomes wicked when he's blessed was wicked before he was blessed. The wickedness did not just have the empowerment to find expression. A person who is a giver when he's blessed was already a giver before he was blessed. The, the empowerment financially only gave room for what was in his heart to find expression. Do not reject the blessing of the Lord. That is the reason why there's so much decadence in our world today. There are many people going back to things that they were already free from because of hunger. There are parents today whose children come with money. They know they are not working. They know they are not in any business and yet they bring money to the millions and the parents know that most likely where that money came from was a wrong source. But they do not have the courage to challenge the children because they need the money. Sadly, there are even those who have encouraged their children subliminally to go and delve into all kinds of relationships and all kinds of things because of hunger. Hallelujah. So God is going to do a quick work in our lives tonight. We're going to trust God to bring healing 
healing i truly believe that sickness is of the devil do not forbear with sickness do not give excuses around it believe in the name of the lord and stand strong and let him touch you and as soon as i begin to pray for people the power of god will come upon you and listen very carefully i want you to believe that you are healed and you check yourself the moment you find out that you are healed i'm going to be giving a few people an opportunity to come out here and to stand and we'll take a few testimonies we're working with time very closely tonight and then if you need to see our medical people they're outside of this auditorium for any medical verifications please go ahead we don't announce fake miracles here we don't have time for any nonsense we only announce things that have worked hallelujah we fear god and we're serious people and we are also responsible people praise the name of the lord no playing games no no wasting god's people's time it is it is an insult as far as i am concerned it is an insult to God, to you, and even to me to fake miracles. It truly really is an insult. Why fake what can be real? Hallelujah. I will praise the Lamb of God who sits upon the throne. I will worship Him and give the praise to him alone he who was and is and is to come i will sing before his throne forever forever all the angels sing and they bow down and they cry, Holy, Holy. We are sons and daughters, we praise you now. And we cry, Holy, yes we cry. I will praise the Lamb of God upon the throne I will worship him I will worship him and give the praise to him alone he who was and is he who was and is and is to come hallelujah I will sing before your throne forever I just feel stirred in my heart to just do the altar call right now before I begin to minister to the sick. You are here and you need Jesus on hearing this word. Listen to me, ladies and gentlemen. I worshiped him, sang so powerfully here that Jesus is the answer. You may be tempted to say to what question? The question of death, the question of defeat, the question of a life that is full of ups and downs a question the question of eternal damnation if you ever ask any of these questions the answer is not a thing the answer is not an object the answer is not philosophy the answer is a person the very son of the living god there are people seated here within this auditorium all of the overflows down to the basement and then outside and many who are following online and they are saying apostle while i heard you pray i heard you teach the holy spirit began to speak to me that i need to number one make this decision for jesus sincerely or i need to number two rededicate my life that as things are right now i cannot say for sure that i am a christian apostle i think i'm a christian but i'm not sure you are not you can come and make it right and you can know for certain that you have met jesus without wasting time i believe and i presume that the holy spirit must have spoken to you i'm going to make the altar call what is an altar call is a call to repentance is a call to surrender is a call to brokenness is a call is a handover service you are telling jesus i am not ashamed of you before men i desire you and i need you like 
the flowers need the sun and the rain so i will count one to five wherever you are within this auditorium around the balcony may i request that you please rush and stand here in front so that i'll lead you to jesus and then if you're in any of the overflows and you're not able to make it here please move to the front of your auditorium same with those outside those following from your homes and so on and so forth i want you to be ready and be willing to make this prayer can we celebrate them as they come one we are here for you come and do what you do we are here come and do the things that you do set our heart come let's celebrate them as they come come to Jesus it is the one major encounter you need tonight apostle but I've come out for altar call so many times are you changed if you are not come out come and join them you can come out and encounter the God of the Bible it's not coming out that changes you It's the genuineness of the brokenness and the repentance that changes you even if you come out for an altar call a million times and you do not mean it and you don't pray the prayer of salvation based on the integrity of scripture you are not saved we're still giving you one minute please come very quickly God bless you koinonia is this how you celebrate salvation come leave your friend leave your family members come to Jesus apostle I'm an elderly person can I join them absolutely I'm a little child can I join them you're most welcome those who are coming from the the overflows or the balconies please let them come let's celebrate them as they come your life must change 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 you will never be the same touch your grace your life must change thank you for making this bold decision for those of you who are in front of me and then those who are by their led screens and those who are following by way of television or the internet listen let me tell you this making a decision for jesus is not about religion making a decision for jesus is beyond christianity making a decision for jesus is the connection to the king of kings the lord of lords this is more than becoming a christian this is becoming a child of god the Bible says, Behold what manner of love the Father has bestowed upon us in that we are being called the sons of God. He says, Now are we the sons of God and it doth not yet appear what we shall be like. Hallelujah. I salute every one of you. May I please request that you lift your right hand high above your head as a sign of surrender. Jesus is right here. And please say this after me. Let it be from the depth of your heart. Say, Lord Jesus, tonight... I have heard your word I exalt your name and your life above my feelings above my past above my present above my future I declare tonight that you are my Savior you are my Lord you are my King I declare that the power of sin of Satan of hell and of the grave is broken in my life from tonight and forever I declare that I belong to Jesus I am a child of God I go forward ever and backward never amen please keep your hands lifted father thank you because you have drawn these ones to yourself only you is able to draw men great men like this to yourself and you have brought them by the authority of scripture i decree and declare that your sins are forgiven the power of sin satan hell and the grave is broken over your life 
and i declare that you are hereby declared recipients of eternal life in the name of jesus i commend you to the ministry of the word and the ministry of the spirit i declare that you'll be grounded and established in righteousness and everything that is not of god i command it to give way in your life in the name of jesus you do go from glory to glory and grace to grace for in jesus name i pray amen and amen now very quickly we're about to pray and begin the ministry of the spirit so i would request uh, the counselors please be fast with them so that they return but i want you to just look to my right which will be your left you would see a few counselors waving their hands and waving the placard please just move to my right which is your left they'll have a word with you and you'll be back to your seat very quickly let's honor them as they go thank you thank you let's celebrate them they are going healing rain is falling down healing rain is falling down i'm not afraid i'm not afraid healing rain is falling down healing rain is falling down not afraid please rise up on I have told you why the ministry of healing is very powerful the healing ministry is an end time ministry there is such a ministry as the healing ministry hallelujah that gives an opportunity to dispense the healing power of Jesus when the the ministry of healing is administered by the mercy of God what we call the mercy of God the mercy of God is responsible for the administration of the healing power of Jesus. Hallelujah. The blood that came out from Jesus all through his body dripping to the ground. Those stripes were for our healing. The healing of your body. And right now you're in this place and all across i want you to believe this is a miracle service that all of these demonic things that have plagued you will leave you now yes. now may i please request very quickly that you lay your hands make contact with any part of your body where you are trusting god for a miracle please do that very quickly lay your hands remember what i told you it is written is the key to walking in perpetual victory when jesus said it is written satan gave way when jesus did it is written he not only gave way but victory was established now thanks be to god the bible declares who causes us always to triumph if it's a part of your body you cannot touch for whatever reason just make contact with your chest and i want to pray for you i really believe in the power of god I've seen the God of wonders work miracles for me. Keep your hands there. Those with gifts and talents spoke prophetically. The mantles of Elijah, Paul and Timothy. I want to see that power at work inside of me. I'm tired of the status quo There's gotta be more than this There's gotta be more, gotta be more There's gotta be more than this 
For desperate people do desperate things. We press in here. It's gotta be more. Gotta be Alasco brandi kabarasiata. Those under the anointing, you don't have to bring them out. When I begin to minister for those who would come out, I will ask you. But please lay your hands. I want to pray right now. My God, there's such. All I'm just seeing is I'm just seeing smoke, just inside and outside. That smoke of His presence. Consuming fire, sweet perfume, your awesome presence fills this room. Consuming fire, sweet perfume, your awesome healing fills my life. Your mighty power fills this place. In the name of Jesus Christ. Shout a loud amen in the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. Name of Jesus Christ. I decree and declare by the power that raised Christ from the dead every infirmity every spirit that is back of any sickness in the name that is above all names I command that spirit to live now in Jesus name right now I decree and declare inside outside be healed now be healed now be healed now blood conditions be healed in the name of Jesus eye conditions be healed in the name of Jesus organ failures be restored in the name of Jesus the power of God is touching so many people in the name of Jesus there's someone suffering from muzzle pool muzzle pull like like what footballers or athletes have in the name of jesus the power of god is healing you now someone your right ears you don't hear with it it is opening right now in the name of jesus in the name of jesus there's someone you are following from national hospital national hospital i'm seeing you on the bed in the name of Jesus, the power of God is touching you right now. Supernaturally. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. The Lord is healing someone. There is a lump on your left breast. As I'm praying right now, you are feeling a, a, a sensation of heat. That devil leaves you right now. In the name of Jesus. There's someone, your right leg is swollen. In Jesus' name, be healed someone you're beginning to have projections on your throat looking like goita but by the power of the holy spirit as i pray right now it dissolves and goes down now hiv be healed now i say it again hiv be healed now every kind of cancer be healed now terminal illnesses be healed now those who came on wheelchairs crutches and any kind of aid i declare life and power to your body begin to walk now begin to walk now be healed in the name of jesus christ eye conditions there's someone outside you could not see the screen very clearly but the power of god is coming upon you and in the name of Jesus, perfect vision for you. In the name of Jesus Christ. There's someone you are having like, um, I'm hearing gastritis. In the name of Jesus, whatever that condition is, be healed of it right now. 
be healed of it right now you have a, a severe problem once you stand in the sun you begin to feel dizzy dizzy and then you can even fall the Lord is healing you right now there's someone you came here your condition is that you have low blood pressure not high blood pressure low blood pressure in the name of Jesus whoever that person is be healed by the power of the Holy Spirit high blood pressure be healed now kidney problems be healed now frequent urination be healed now peptic ulcer be healed now pile be healed now I, I don't know my God there's someone I'm I'm seeing is like of course I'm not a doctor but I'm it's like I'm seeing inside your head and there is something like a boil not a boil but a growth a projection inside your head literally in the name of Jesus I don't know whether that has been verified medically or not but be healed right now there's someone you have a condition I don't know what that condition is but you bite your tongue or is it your mouth and you can injure yourself I don't know who that person is in the name of Jesus be healed the issue of blood is being healed right now very severe issue of blood is being healed right now there is a gentleman this is strange you are a gentleman also you are a gentleman not a lady but when you go to ease yourself sometimes you ease out blood that person the power of God is touching you right now in the mighty name of Jesus Christ very severe pain around your chest heaviness around your chest in Jesus name be healed there is someone here you have a medical condition that cannot allow you have a child you have a medical condition you are a man you're unable to get your wife pregnant in the name of Jesus Christ you're going to feel like fire just like a sensation come through your body and in the name of Jesus the Lord is bringing you healing right now the Lord is bringing you healing right now the Lord is bringing you healing right now there's someone you could not move your left hand I'm I'm even feeling like like weight on my left hand the power of God is touching you right now begin to check it right now in the name of Jesus a very supernatural miracle has happened you came here and your one of your molars I don't know I think it was removed but a miracle is going to happen you are going to see a brand new teeth right there this is what the Lord is telling me in the name of Jesus I declared by the Spirit of grace by the power that raised Christ from the dead someone has um, like a growth a projection just this part of your neck this side in the name of Jesus as I'm praying for you right now the power of God is coming upon you and that demonic thing gives way now now whether I mention your case or not diabetes diabetes is being healed right now sugar diabetes is being healed right now there's someone who was brought here with stroke like half of you I don't know if you can walk or not but the power of God is touching you right now in the name of Jesus the son of the living God whether I mention your case or not be healed in Jesus name 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 There is someone I'm seeing, you're not in this country. Uh, it's not given to me to know what nation, but I know you are outside this country. You are holding your child. Your child is five years, getting to six, and has never spoken. And the Lord is telling me to pray for that child. In the name of Jesus, I don't know what that nation is, but I declare, may the tongue of that child be loose now. May the tongue of that child be loose now. 
the lord is showing me a woman this is an elderly woman should not be less than 55 years old this is a woman in the hospital in coma completely in fact it's almost as if she's gone in the name of jesus we knock on the door of life and we declare that woman returns right now in the name of jesus christ in the name of jesus christ there's someone for a long time please don't be embarrassed you've suffered what we call mouth order very pungent smell it's not an issue of lack of hygiene you have even gotten some mouthwash and all of that right now as i'm praying for you the power of god is touching you and that that healing is happening right now in fact i'm seeing at least three or four people with this case i just mentioned no matter how you try to maintain your hygiene it looks like that embarrassment continues it's a demonic thing in the name of jesus be delivered the lord is showing me someone you went to bed and you had a dream and in that dream it had to do with death and from the time you woke up you have been sick till now it is the spirit of death in the name of jesus the son of the living god i declare you are free from that demonic thing hallelujah now here's what we'll do i want to minister deliverance right now but for all those who are trusting god for healing i want you to check yourself right now the moment you check yourself and you find out that the power of god has touched you you could not do something i want you to do it right now inside and outside you could not work begin to walk you could not see begin to see the moment you find out that a miracle has happened please be guided by the protocol or ushers and you make your way to come right here to the front either to my left or to my right and then we'll have we'll give you room for your testimony very quickly while that is happening i'd like you to please submit your prayer request you would see ushers by your left and right you may do well to pass your prayer request to the last person either by your left or right so that they would pass it ushers please make that snappy so that we can have the people submit their request and if you have passed any row and they are yet to submit please just lift it up and then an usher will be there to attend to you i want to minister deliverance now I believe in deliverance i really do upon mount zion the bible declares that there shall be deliverance and holiness and that the sons of jacob shall possess their possession it is no news that satan is determined to thwart our destiny and he has an arsenal of demon spirits that continue to go around the lives and the destinies of god's people spying upon their liberty but the Bible says, how terrible art thou in your ways, Psalm 66 and verse 3. It says, through the greatness of thy power, thy enemies shall submit themselves to you. And so I want to pray right now and rebuke every spirit that is back of the tragic events across and around our lives. Are you ready now? When I pray then, uh, together with those who will be coming out, all those who are healed and are coming for testimonies, will now allow them to come. Let me pray. Ah, you know sometimes the way the holy spirit works is very strange i've not even started praying and i started hearing shouts and people running in the spirit this is what i started hearing bring them out that's not the only one you hear many like the healing power of jesus just delivering people that's what i started hearing in my spirit and the lord just asked me to allow that happen before i start speaking the supernatural works in a very strange way sometimes it, 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 these things how and why they happen i really do not know ours is just to flow with the holy spirit and do that which pleases him right so there will be many people right now who will start shouting under the anointing i want you to bring them out and then i will now start praying the power of god is already touching people thank you lord jesus whether inside outside all of those people by the spirit of grace let's have them out very quickly if the ushers are limited please pr or any other department do help them so that we'll, we'll make this fast and we make this snappy in the name of jesus christ bring them out 
You are the covenant keeping God. You are the covenant keeping God. Yahweh. Hallelujah. I'm hearing in my spirit tormenting spirits. This is what God wants to take spirits that torment people, whether in dreams or visions, whether as afflictions or infirmities. I want to declare right now. Please, I want you to bring them out in the name that is above all names. I decree and declare anyone here who is a victim of tormenting spirits that torment you day and night medically that torment you spiritually at the count of three let that fire fall right now at the count of three i want you to shout jesus are you ready one two three shout jesus be delivered now be delivered now be delivered now by the power of the holy spirit be delivered from the influence of tormenting spirits please whether you are an usher or not be delivered now be delivered now be delivered now, be delivered now from the influence of tormenting spirits be free now the power of god is still coming upon people right now the power of god help them please the power of god is still coming upon people be delivered now in the name of jesus christ satan get lost let god's people go now in the name of jesus now i'm about to pray i'm seeing chains on people's feet there are spirits that have kept people in one place so that you don't move as soon as i pray fire will begin to fall on a few people father i decree and declare everyone who has been bound by the spirits of stagnation and delay as you shout jesus be released now are you ready one two three shout jesus be released be released please bring them out i decree and declare I prophesy your liberty from this tormenting spirit. Help them, please. Every devil of stagnation, every spirit tying you down, leave now. Someone open your mouth and declare, I'm moving forward. Go ahead, open your mouth and begin to declare that in the name of Jesus, I am making advancement in life and destiny. Every devil in the name of Jesus Christ, by the power that raised Christ from the dead. I'm still praying. You hear about good things. But your hand never handles it you keep hearing that good things are to happen and yet you are never able to take possession i want to pray right now in the name of jesus anyone who is a victim of this that good things are always around your neighborhood and yet you never take possession of it the power of god is coming upon you right now the spirit that is responsible for a paris qatar for those patterns I decree and declare, be delivered now.
be delivered now be delivered now be delivered now there is a lady you are from Edo state there is a spirit that has tormented your entire family I will not let you go free right now help her the power of God is coming upon you from Edo state I'm seeing the anointing even coming on people not just one person many people Parigetes Kalikatoshiata Edo state be delivered now bring them out be delivered now be delivered now Alegateska de Branda Caparusiata the lord is ministering to me there's someone here every time your time of promotion comes you have a dream and you will see yourself in a place where you have been before and that will be the end of it i don't know who that is but the anointing is coming upon you please bring them out there's a reason why i ask that you bring them out it's not just for show I decree and declare whoever that person is fire from heaven is resting upon you now fire from heaven is resting upon you now fire from heaven is resting upon you now the Lord is showing me a family all the women in that family have similar dreams dreams of retrogression this is from your mother to the sisters the, the ladies right now the power of god is coming on all the ladies who are here in the name of jesus these ladies bring them out i break that chain from that family i break that chain from that family i release that family right now 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 Please, whether you are an usher or not, if someone is under the anointing, please help to bring them. You don't have to wait for the ushers. There might be too much for them to do. I'm hearing the name Jennifer. The season where demonic holds over your life is breaking. I'm hearing the name Jennifer. In the name of Jesus, I break that demonic hold right now. I break that demonic hold right now. Jennifer, I break that demonic hole right now. I break that demonic hole right now. I break that demonic hole. What's her name? Hold on, please. Don't take it easy, my dear. Where are you coming from? Let's... Look at me. Shout Jesus as loud as you can. Jesus! I cast that spirit now. Be delivered completely in the name of Jesus. For every other person in the name of Jesus, this lady holding her stomach, something is leaving your stomach. I cast that spirit out of her right now in the name of Jesus Christ. Release her destiny now in the name of Jesus Christ. My goodness, God is setting people free. I am seeing God take things out of people's stomachs. Like, I don't know, like growth or whatever. I declare anyone having a fibroid or any kind of demonic growth, right now fire from heaven is coming upon you that devil dissolves now that devil dissolves now i'm hearing a name israel israel and the lord is speaking to me that this gentleman it is time for god to use you to visit your family this is what god is telling me who is israel what do you do my friend yes, sir. Huh? i'm an architect you are an architect yes, sir. do you believe if i tell you god is going to use you yes, sir. as a deliverer in your family yes, sir. my goodness father in the name of jesus i use him as a point of contact to every Israel here, what he says to one, he says to all. By the power that raised Christ from the dead, I release that grace upon all of you. Take that grace right now. In the name of Jesus, the Lord will use you to set your family free. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hear me. There is someone I want to pray for. You don't have to come out. But the power of God is visiting people. Do you know that death is a spirit? D-E-B-T. 
not death death borrowing there, there are people who are addicted to it like drugs it's not that you are bad this thing is a pattern you have seen it god wants to break it in families i don't know where that family is but right now the spirit that has tied people financially working and living in debt be delivered now be delivered now there is a gentleman here you came from one of the northern states the hand of god is upon your life and he's going to use you mightily i don't know where that gentleman is but the anointing is of the spirit is coming upon him right now you you came from the north your ministry is right there in the name of jesus christ god is going to use you like a like like a, a tree that just springs out a store from nowhere is a mighty anointing you will sweep across your city with the fire of revival i release that grace upon you now i release that grace upon you now i release that grace upon you now there are three people up the balcony the power of god is coming upon them the lord is saying it has come to an end i don't know what it is but that's what i hear it has come to an end it has come to an end i decree and declare wherever you are help them please across the balcony the power of god is touching you it has come to an end in the name of jesus please don't just pick them and take them back ushers you should know better please let me do my prayer for them there's a reason why i ask them to come please return that lady who is going back please it's not about bringing them out to show a man of god is powerful no please don't just pick them when they think there is a reason why we ask them to come out they don't have to come out but when god instructs then it's important otherwise you will just take them back to their various bondages for all those who are out here in the name of jesus i decree and declare every spirit that has tormented you right now for all of you i declare at the count of three let them go release their destinies one two three go 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 out of them now out of them now out of their lives now in the name of jesus everything that has been stolen let there be a restoration let there be a restoration let there be a restoration as i pray for them i pray for you everything that has been stolen in the name of jesus restoration supernatural restoration in the name of jesus christ release them now in the name of jesus the lord is still showing me a family your father is a pastor but there is absolutely nothing that is working in that family a sincere man of god who loves god but poverty failure shame this is what has characterized this family i don't know who that person is you are a lady in the name of jesus is there someone like that please make sure you verify let's not just have people coming out carelessly your father is a pastor i want to pray the devil is a liar Shalika Baratusia. just put them they can stand one place anywhere there i want to pray for them you see look at this you can imagine this kind of demonic mockery a man who is who is spending his life serving the lord and then the devil will want that nothing works in his life you see so it can discourage members it can discourage people they can say if you are a man of god why are these things not working for you but in the name of jesus you came here for this miracle service tonight i'm praying for you there are so many of you so i will use you as a point of contact every altar speaking against your family right now i stretch my hands upon all of you who are out here at the count of three that fire will fall upon you one two three take that fire take that fire take that fire take that fire i decree and declare those altars are set ablaze. I release your parents. I release your loved ones. 
I release your parents. I release your families. Help them, please. Shabra Katos Ketebeta. Every altar that has stood as a resistance to the growth of your family be destroyed now. I not only pray for them, I pray for you in the name of Jesus. Every altar that sponsors hatred, that sponsors trouble, that sponsors limitation by the power that raised Christ from the dead, it is destroyed now. You don't have to come out but i want to pray for you there is someone here your father has a case with efcc and if we don't pray for you with what i'm seeing they are going to jail him i don't know who that person is you don't have to come out so that you avoid any embarrassment but in the name of jesus i don't i'm not a, 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 a government worker i don't know how it works there but for god to have revealed it we declare mercy right now yeah. agree with me we declare mercy right now yeah. in the name of jesus yeah. who is sitting on what belongs to you in the name of jesus christ please receive this prayer i decree and declare anyone fighting the prophecy over your life and sitting where they should not be i stand by the apostolic and the prophetic i overturn them i overturn them i overturn them i overturn them, I overturn them. I overturn them. help them please i overturn them in the name of jesus until you sit upon that which is rightfully yours Whether in the office, whether in politics, I say it again. I overturn tonight. I overturn tonight. I overturn tonight. In the name of Jesus Christ. I'm not a banker and I will not I will not say anything that will destroy any bank but there is a particular bank we need to pray for in the name of Jesus I will not mention names but in the name of Jesus we are praying that what the devil is plotting that that bank just goes down overnight may the Lord show mercy in the name of Jesus because with what the lord is showing me right now i'm seeing a lot of financial distress it's still on that tone they are just trying to walk to see how they can manage it but in the name of jesus i am praying for the sake of the mercy of god and for the sake of those who fear god in that bank both workers and customers may god preserve it in jesus name <laughs> jessica Jessica who is Jessica Jessica this is what I'm hearing who is Jessica where are you coming from I don't state. come and stand here please where are you coming from I want to pray for you what do you do madam don't be embarrassed not, nothing. nothing I want to pray for you let me pray for you where is your husband? He's outside. He lost his job. Yes. When? Yes. 2017. And from that time, he's not gotten a job again. The one he got, he has been managing it. He's nothing to write home about. From the when he is he here? Yes, because of there's no space. He's of course, I understand. Outside. It doesn't matter. He doesn't have to come. Husband, wherever you are, you are seeing your wife on camera. Just stand by faith. If we say he should come now. We may waste time. Do you believe God can visit him? Yes. Madam, what do you do? I'm a businesswoman. I want to pray for you. I believe in miracles, so I truly believe. 
Hallelujah. Jessica. Your name is not Jessica. Oh. Huh? Your brother's wife. You're standing in. Okay. Please don't come out to stand in for anybody. If it's not you, just be patient by faith. Believe wherever you are. Don't worry. I'll pray for you since you're here. Madam, in the name of Jesus, please, why are they here? Are you Jessica? Your name, the name your parents gave you. Okay, so you can stand here. So that we'll save time because we, in the name of Jesus, I decree and declare every planting of darkness. I use these ones in front as a point of contact. Ah, I'm praying for these people, but I'm seeing a lady here. There is a, a ring that is demonic. This is not physical on your hand, but this is demonic. This thing has closed everything that looks like marital doors. The power of God is coming upon you right now. Help them. Help them. This is what I'm seeing. I just saw a ring flashing at me and the lord is saying until that is taken care of it looks like nothing can i'm praying i do, what he says to why are you coming out my dear listen to what i'm saying first okay don't worry my dear look at me just calm down you are not carrying a physical ring huh just be patient in the name of jesus i decree and declare i'm not saying those who are looking for marital miracles that's not what i'm saying i'm sharing with you a vision understand the vision first before you come out it's not an issue of coming out it's an issue of standing where you are and the power of god touching you in the name of jesus those who are there don't worry let them not be embarrassed just leave them to come once they are already here, just just let them be let them come in the name of jesus who is the son of the living god i pray right now by the power of the holy spirit every demonic thing any kind of satanic engagement that anyone here if there is any strange marriage aha uh -huh, that is not of god any demonic kaparakatos kadiata every fraternity that has tied you in the spirit help that woman in the name of jesus i call upon the lamb upon the throne we dissociate that demonic marriage now we dissociate that demonic marriage now please help them my god we dissociate that demonic marriage now. Strangers of the night that come to visit you while you sleep, molesting you and spying upon your liberty. Right now I stretch my hands. Anyone here who is a victim of those things, be delivered now. And for all of the Jessicas who God called out here, in the name of Jesus, I decree and declare, by the power that raised Christ from the dead, everything that is an embargo over your life and your destiny and your family, I hereby release you now. I hereby release you now. That mockery and that shame over your life, I release you now. In the name of Jesus Christ. I decree and declare, for some of you, between now and the end of August, the way God will visit you and turn things around in your life. Please believe it. I declare it in the name of Jesus Christ. God bless you. God bless you. Thank you. There, there is, um, I don't know if I should ask them to come out now, but I am seeing a unique grace from this service that is coming upon people who are into construction. There is a grace. Those who are construction building, there is a grace in the name of Jesus. I don't know who is into that, whether your business or you work with a firm. There is the grace there. And I decree and declare right now in the name of Jesus, who is the son of the living God. Father, upon all these ones, I declare, may your power rest upon them right now. May your power rest upon them right now. That what God will do within one month, will surprise you many of you will surprise you in the name of jesus christ i'm not a prophet of doom but i want us to pray i'm seeing an attack in a particular mall in the name of jesus christ we cancel it now don't misunderstand me i don't promote negative prophecies it is because we are a family of faith here. Yeah, there are many things that I see that I just pray on. Sometimes God allows us to release these things to edify the body. Remember, dominion 
is not saying evil will happen and watching it happen dominion is that is god revealing what the devil is doing and then we use the authority of jesus to stop it are we together now the joy is not negative things coming to happen there are only few things in the bible that are called written judgments that means many things many evils can be stopped there are few that are called written judgments for instance the rapture of the saints and the imminent destruction of those who are not with christ there's nothing you can do about that once a man dies outside of christ you cannot pray and say let the person repent wherever no it's not we don't see any expression of that in the bible are we together the destruction of satan nobody can fast and pray for satan to be saved no the judgment of satan is a written judgment but there are many evils that it is within the power of the saints to stop hallelujah since god has brought this issue is it possible for us to hold hands in one minute and neutralize spiritually every demonic plot over the fct do you believe that in one minute let's open our mouth and pray in the name that is above all names we are praying for the fct we are praying for nigeria all the six geopolitical zones we are praying extending our prayers to africa but particularly for nigeria go ahead and pray we pray for abuja the fct then we pray for the north we pray for the south we pray for the east and we pray for the west in the name of jesus the son of the living god we agree as a spiritual family oh god arise and let everything that is antichrist be scattered over our nation we decree and declare and we prophesy safety above and beyond the coordinated efforts of the military the police dss civil defense we declare let there be angelic activities let the forces of judgment be released for the sake of the saints somebody is praying call the name of any area in abuja you know and prophesy safety upon it we declare safety safety all the six local governments that make up this state we declare safety extend that word of safety to the neighboring environments nasarawa state niger state kaduna state plateau state benway state kogi state we decree and declare safety by the power of the holy spirit we extend this word of safety across the six geopolitical zones in this nation father arise let the spirits that make for bloodshed kidnapping maiming killing destructions of lives and properties they come on that judgment in the name of jesus christ they come on that judgment somebody is praying the facilities within the fct we declare safety public private facilities in the name of jesus for in jesus name we pray please listen to me i don't even know if we'll have the time again to call those who have been healed but let me just give you a word of hope and comfort please hear me do not fear prophesy to yourself say myself in the name of jesus i reject fear one more time say it say i reject fear hold on let me tell you by the privilege of where i come from and where we started ministry i've had the i don't know what to call it now i have i have been part of many crises and i've seen many uprisings there is one thing i can tell you fear has never helped in any situation i know that because of what is happening across the fct there is fear i know that there is a call for greater vigilance there is a call for greater sensitivity both spiritually and security wise but can i tell you i challenge every father and every priest here you have a responsibility to plant the spirit of faith we are not going to paralyze our lives and activities just because of the activity of evil rather we would pray that god himself will empower the military and all those who are working day and night to see to our safety 
and to pray that the ministry of angels and the forces of judgment be released in their full in the full force over these evil people yeah. are we together but let me challenge you there is one thing i know that empowers evil fear 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 do not put yourself in a position just because you are hearing of wars and rumors of wars now i do not downplay the fact that it is not a nice thing to see people come and maim and kill and rape and do all kinds of demonic things but living in fear will destroy you time will go you will not achieve your goals you will be poor you will be broke you will go down it's a pain to know that our schools are having to shut down because of this vested interest and evil people wherever they are may god judge them both the one who steals and the one who helps those who steal they are all thieves do you agree so when we are saying the forces of judgment be released it's not just to be released on those who directly do evil the entire central system the network of evil may fire from heaven fall upon them but as for you in the name of jesus i place a mark upon you by reason of being grafted to Christ and by the privilege of being in this part of this spiritual family in the name of Jesus you will not die Amen. the Lord God himself will prohibit you Amen. from going to and being around anywhere where there will be destruction Amen. in the name of Jesus Christ Amen. now I want you right where you are open your mouth and please begin to pray in the spirit as we have the requests come Wherever you are, begin to pray in the spirit. Begin to pray in the spirit, please. You are enforcing everything that has been spoken. Outside, are you praying? All of the overflows, begin to pray. Begin to pray in the spirit. If you are yet to submit your prayer request, can you wave it? Someone will quickly pick it and then it will be brought here very quickly. Go ahead and pray. Though I walk through the valley, love, I'll fear no evil. By the water still my soul, my heart will trust in you. My heart will trust in you. One more time. Though I walk through the valleys, I'll feel no fear. I go under still my soul. My heart will trust in you. My heart will trust. Trust in you. Hallelujah. Please prophetically may I request that you stretch your hands towards me and begin to pray and declare over this request as I bow my knees before the father of glory agreeing for answers to these prayers answers to this request I'd like you to declare that these Egyptians I see today I will see them no more forever someone pray this is the most accurate representation of your desires the Bible says, what things soever ye desire, when ye pray, believe that thou receivest it, and thou shalt have it. In the name of Jesus Christ, we decree and declare. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, I decree and declare by the power that raised Christ from the dead, every request here is turned to a harvest of testimonies.
every long-standing issue represented here may this be the season for speedy answers every spirit that is behind the tragic situations written here in the name of jesus we command that that spirit loses his hold now and every human vessel who must come into partnership with heaven for this request to be manifested in your life we compel the ministry of those men in the name of jesus christ i prophesy over your life that this is your season of laughter in the name of jesus he said the lord has done great things for us whereof we are glad then he says turn again our captivity like the streams of the negev i decree and declare every captivity here is thereby turned around in the matchless name of jesus now i made a commitment a personal commitment to see that we end tonight by nine because of the situation and so because of that we may have to suspend every other thing i'll just speak over your life for the next one or two minutes it's already two past nine my apologies for all those who would have wanted to come for testimonies what i will request that you do is next week um you can just write your testimonies and we'll take it let me speak over your life finally and then we're done hallelujah in the name of jesus christ this is the last day of this month tomorrow becomes august i decree and declare august is the ninth month everything you have been carrying this is the month to give birth to it shame and reproach over your life comes to an end now if there is anything that is eating up your spiritual life and not giving you room to be vibrant spiritually in the name of jesus christ be restored be restored be restored be restored by the power of the holy spirit hear me everything that has left heaven but the devil has not allowed it to come to your life by the power that raised christ from the dead i stand as a prophetic midwife and i push it to find manifestation in your life in the name of jesus every church here represented every business every firm every organization step into a new season of exploits you shall not go down in jesus name you shall not be in want in jesus name i decree and declare our children are blessed in the mighty name of jesus christ no one here will have a cause to bury your loved one as you drive on the road you are protected as you fly in the air you are protected as you move by sea you are protected no evil will see you in the name of jesus christ for those who are trusting god for manifestations of financial favor i release my faith and i agree with you this week beginning experience strange favor in the mighty name of jesus christ i declare that this week god will put it in the hearts of your helpers to help you god will put it in the heart of your lifters to lift you in the name of jesus christ finally let me pray for you the mantle of honor that compels for influence and loyalty in the name of jesus may that grace rest upon you you are blessed in the name of jesus christ now one final announcement please very quickly we're ending early just as our contribution to showing that we are responsible especially over the security situation having prayed we owe it to see that we finish on time i actually planned nine on the dot um short with five minutes may i please make a personal request that as soon as we share the grace please if you can for any reason help those who i know that there are thousands of people and there might be such traffic if you can help people please don't be victims of people just waylaying you if you do not know them just go but i mean those who are of the family of faith you can help them to the nearest point where they can be on their way going 
that would be such a very good thing and then let me advise you one last time avoid rumor and fear mongering anything you do not understand make sure you verify your information before don't go online and start posting things anyhow the lord bless you in jesus name Let's share the word. hello beloved in christ we hope this message was a blessing to you i would want you to do something for us if you are new here kindly hit on that subscribe button for us and then like this video as well share to your family and friends to bless them because we know that this message will be a blessing to their body, to their soul, and to their spirit. We would need you to do one thing for us too. Tell us in the comment section where you were watching us from. And then if you've got any testimony for us, kindly share with us. Thank you for watching.